I'll go live and get my stuff out of the way, and then you can go live and... Okay, I'll be back. Hey, Shadow, welcome aboard. Just doing my publishing. You know, you know. It's been published. Zero, welcome aboard. Get this chat popped out. Hope everyone is doing very well today. Yes, I am. Di is going to be streaming. She was just taking a quick break before she gets started, so she hasn't pushed the live button yet. Oh, yes, I have. Oh, <laughs> she has. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems like everything seems to be working, so this is a good, good bit of news. So. Doug, welcome aboard. Let's see what YouTube. Oh wow, bam! Right there, five seconds. Woo doggy. Awesomeness. Of course, I don't know why I streamed. His, you know, Rob gets all the views. So. No, oh, stop. You get views. You get a lot I'm of views. I'm still stuck at 907 subscribers. Everything is working. Hot damn. Woohoo. I'm excited. So, by the way, Patrick left me a direct message that we have an assignment. So, that we have to go do, believe it or not. We do. We do. So. Well, that's news to me. Yeah. So, we have to go to, uh, well, someplace. We have to go yeah. someplace and do something? What's that rat's nest call called over there? Uh,. Uh, build rats? No. Is that it? I don't know. And we have to find somebody playing a jukebox, or not a jukebox, a music box. So, for whatever it's worth. 
and um, you didn't finish emptying the barrels here. Uh, I did not. I am. Uh... Well, you're busy. You know, you're a busy guy. So, Zero, hello, Doc, good to see you. See, I got some people in my channel. You do. You do. I should, I should quit now while I'm ahead. Oh, well, thanks for coming, room. everybody. We'll see you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, it's been no. a while since Rob and I have slooped. So, it has indeed. So I'm kind of looking forward to it, to be honest. But I used to send my uh, my stream link to my wife, daughter, and son-in-law via text message. Yeah. And they started getting YouTube notifications, so I stopped. And recently they said, hey, you need to send us those links again. Because YouTube doesn't always tell us, but if you send us the link, we can send them out to other people. Right. Uh, next Skyrim stream is Friday morning, 9 a.m. U.S. Pacific time. The Adventures of Jackalope. And same time on Saturday for the continued adventures of Jackaloo. Oh, okay. When did you start doing the Friday, uh, or what made you decide to start doing Friday? Uh, again? Well, uh, VG asked me to do a survival stream, so I added the Friday morning to do that. Oh, and okay. I really liked the challenge of the survival stream, and. Uh, there wasn't really any challenge to doing the, the regular version of the game. So I just finished what I, I had open on the uh, regular version of the game, closed him out, and decided to give both days to Jackalope. Ah, okay. Well, it's, you know, sounds awesome to see. I was quite surprised to see you streaming on Friday morning. You know, you're streaming at the same time that... Uh... Dan Bongino puts up his uh, broadcast for the day, so. I do stop in, you know that, right, Rob? I leave you a like. Oh, yeah. So. I, know, I, can. I know you're sit, you're stopping in. You can, you talk about it. Yep. You, you're, you're not a fan of playing the game with magic, but you don't mind watching the game. Especially, you no. know, I don't play with a lot of magic in my game. Yeah, you know, but it's just one of those things that it's just, you know, I just, I don't know, is that... I, I've watched it, and, you know, I, you know. same with, uh, what's the other game? Somebody says, oh, you should be playing this game. And I look at it, and I go, yeah. Half the time I forget to use the magic that I know how to use. Yeah, there you go. So that would be my problem. You know, that was like when I was trying to play, well, the other problem, too, is Witcher is in third person, or whatever you call it, and I just, I'm not kidding. I'd keep getting motion sickness from the guy just whipping around and doing all kinds of weird things. Witcher is... I thought that I would be fine with third-person action. Witcher was not a game that I was really into. Yeah. Uh, the Assassin's Creed really did, never grabbed my my fancy either. Right. Um, my wife really liked uh, Dishonored. That was a third-person game. I never got into that. She loved it. Um, yeah. I do use third-person mode occasionally in Fallout just to uh, reduce the amount of immersion because, you know, with all the gunfire, I like to uh, remind myself how much of a video game it is every now and then. Gotcha. But uh, where are we? We're at Daggertooth. Yeah. And uh, we need to go to... Uh uh, Bilge Rats Tavern, or whatever it is. That's at the uh, thing that's right near Reapers, but it's not yes. listed on the map. Right. It's that big rock near Reapers. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to put a ring on Reapers just so that it's easy to spot on the map. And Basically, it's a southwesterly... Okay. It'll work. Oh, I guess we should raise the anchor. It makes it easier for the ship to go forward. So I have been. And 
off we go. South something? South? Southwesterly. Okay. And of course, uh, well, that's pretty much the way we're headed. So we'll stop at a few islands along the way, see if we can get a chest or two. Or... Hey, Shadow, the more the merrier. Everybody is welcome uh, at, in my streams on, t on Fridays and Saturdays. And Wednesdays. And everybody remember, tonight at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Right. Eastern Time, we play Among Us. We, co uh, we call it the Among Friends stream. We play Among Us until we get tired of killing each other. Right. That's why I'm not welcome. Because... You are always welcome, Die. I watch it, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's a weird game. It is a weird game, but it, it, it is incredibly fun to run around and kill each other indiscriminately. Yeah. Well, here's an island over here, I guess we can go look at this one. I could have sworn I just saw a boat out there. Oh, it would surprise me, we'd probably get lamp poop here or something. Oops. Where am I going? Oh shit, I'm not used to sailing a sloop anymore. This thing is kind of <laughs> responsive, isn't it? Yeah, boy, it just whipped right around. I think that's a uh, skelly galleon I just saw. Cool. But we're not going to go after a galleon because we're not, we suck. So, we could give it a while. We probably don't have much in the way of shot. I didn't actually look to see how much shot we had. Uh, now, he's, now he's behind those rocks, but uh, there's, he's out there somewhere. I see him. He's coming out from behind the rocks to the uh, port. Okay. He's just on the edge of render distance, so I've got the red and the blue and green lights. Yeah. But the sails are still rendering as if he's a player ship. Ah. But. Player ships don't have green lights up in the rigging, and they can't change the color of the lights in the rigging. Okay. So, this is that island that's not on the map. And we, almost every time we found at least one chest here, of some sort. There, there's always we, something here. It's the, kind of... Yeah, it does. Weird. And there's something on the beach. See? Ammo crate, maybe? I don't know, I can't see it. Probably right in front of the mast, and I can't see it. Oh, over that way. Okay, well, shit, we're going the wrong way. We'll come around and get it on the the next land. How's that sound? Let's see what else is out here. Hit the put put speed. Oh, I've still got a blunderbuss. Give me my pistol. Your pistola. So, I read your, uh, saw your little video on your challenge, but I've already done one of those things. So yes, you already, ha you already have. You, you've done so. several artillery positions. Yes. Hey, Rick. Oh, that would be awesome. Yes, but June is the Army's birthday. So, uh... The oldest branch in the U.S. military. Yep. And, of course, being... The majority of my career was spent in artillery units. I have a soft spot for old red-legged artillery. So that's where my challenge went. I can't understand. I was trying to figure out what was that the piece that you the artillery artillery piece that you used it wasn't a howitzer, so that is a 177. That is a howitzer. Oh, okay. What's man, I've never seen one built like that. That is the current state of the art. Uh, we we haven't used. You're you're thinking of the old style field guns, 
Yes. As howitzers, where they used a uh, cased ammunition. Right. Yeah, those are using powder charges. Yeah, those are field guns. We don't use field guns anymore. Oh, okay. Uh, World War Two was the last time we used field guns. Uh, Uh, They used them in Vietnam too. Uh, the no, those are those were mountain guns. They're smaller than field guns. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> and they actually are not classified as artillery. Mountain guns are, to, are uh, support weapons. Is there another box here on the... On, on I don't the think so. It looks like scenery here. Ah, okay. Well, we'll just putter around. Looks like broken... Uh, ah, okay. But, uh, no, the uh, army artillery is very much like naval artillery. Oh, it's, there's a chest in the water. Is right that a chest? It. It, it, it looks like broken... Uh... Well, maybe it is, but I'm gonna... Oh, no, you are correct. That is a chest. It's just the waves that were making it look broken. Ah, okay. I'm glad I stopped. It was hard to tell what it was, but I... Well, that is a, it's, a, it's a treasure chest, as a matter of fact. Wow. It is a treasure chest. I love it when it works like this. And there's even gold in it. <gasps> and no! a flag in and a reliquary. Mm. We are just... So, uh... Yeah, the uh, army artillery works just like uh, naval artillery. You ram in the, the projectile, and you choose the type of projectile that you're using, which some are classified, so I can't really tell you a lot about that. Uh, oh, we've got a boat. Looks like it could be a, either a poon or a cannon boat. Hopefully a cannon boat, because then we get a bunch of cannonballs with it. Um, and once the projectile is rammed all the way up into the uh, front of the breach, yeah. the number of powder bags that goes in is what whatever the gun commander dictated. It's based on the range to target. Right. And... That's the the, uh, white bags with the red circle on them. The red circle is actually the primer. Oh, okay. Well, it seems like it would be much more efficient using the bags. Well, it is. Uh, You only use the the amount of powder necessary for the distance. Right. So if if you have a very short-range target and you still want to rain down on him, you use one bag, and you still are at a decent arc without having to aim straight up in the air. Oh, there's a cannon. It is a cannon. The boat is a little beat up, so it looks like it's, uh... Used? (laughs) It's been used once or twice. Well, that's okay. So what kind of crate did you find? An ammo crate and a fruit crate that's almost full. But one of the nice things about the uh, artillery piece, if you looked during the firing scenes, you could see an electronic device on the side of the cannon. Yes. That knows where the cannon is at all times. Uh. And there's another computer that the uh, gun commander uses. He knows where the target location is. So that helps him target. So it is, I would assume not only is it more accurate because there, you now have double facts, where, uh, but it's also f- uh, faster. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The computer just basically tells him, "All right, this is how far away it is. This is your t- your firing arc. This is how many bags you need." Yeah, it, it gives you all the information, basically. It's it's really uh, state-of-the-art. We used to have to do all that on uh, out of our field book. Yep. Oh, crap. Southwest happens to be right where that storm is. Uh, well, actually, we don't need to go southwest anymore. Um, okay. Wasn't there one more crate is to be this side of the island? Or no, we happen? just picked that up. Oh, okay. Uh, do you see that? Big stony thing off the port bow? Yeah. That's it. Alright, off we go. It's gonna take me a while to get used to sailing a sloop again. Dang. 
very, very responsive compared to what we've been getting. Yeah, I do love sailing again. And, uh, I, uh, I'm going to leave uh, 21 cannonballs in the rowboat. Why? So we have them not in the barrel in case we get barrel balled. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. We don't have a supply crate yet, or a uh, storage crate. Or but we've got uh, 110 cannonballs in the uh, barrel, so... Yeah. Uh, okay. It's almost enough to take on a galleon. Hey, Casper, how you doing? Casper! Yeah, the, the way the, uh, the targeting system works now... We use the GPS programming to know the exact location of the gun, the target, and we can even use a uh, tie-in from the uh, artillery radar systems to tell us where our point of impact is by following our own rounds from launch to impact. So, I mean, we, we can basically laser target anybody on the battlefield. Right. So, I'm not sure where we're supposed to find this individual with the music box over here. But this is the assignment that Patrick gave us. Well, apparently the, the, there are people up in the bar area. Okay. Half, I've seen them up there. So I would assume well, that they're up in that there. area. Well, some of them are gone now. So I was just watching a thing uh, by somebody. Melkor. That they're... Individuals that were here are no longer here. That's okay, Shadow. I hope that you've enjoyed your stay and whatever you've got cooking. I hope that it goes well for you. Now, I know there's a dock over here on this harbor side. I, I so see it right there as we come around the rock. We're gonna go dock over there and see if we can, because we have to find the person that's using a music box or something. And then we have to go behind them, dive in the water, and find a crater or something. And it's got a chest there that we're supposed to go. This is the assignment that Patrick gave me. I'd have to read the actual note, but oh, zero! You should you should have told us that you were interested in playing. We would have gotten a brig for you. He didn't say anything. Yeah, you no, he was he was downloading games, and he th figured he didn't want to interrupt his downloads. And oh, okay. But, well, we should we can always go get a a brig if he wants to join. I don't have a problem. Maybe Casper wants to join. We'll get a galleon. I don't know. I put out the notice thirty minutes in advance. Doom, welcome aboard. Oh, hey, Doom. Have you been up since 6 a.m., Doom? Yeah, I got a major update to do this weekend. I got a notification that I have an outdated version of Windows that is no longer supported, Windows 10. And I have to download and install a new version. That's odd. On. Yeah. So, I was very surprised to see that notification. So, I'm going to do it this weekend because I suspect my laptop will fail to stop working. I did my Windows 10 update, and when I finished it, it you know when you when you restart your computer after the update, yeah. it came up on an install screen that looked like I was installing Windows 11, and I had to search the screen for the no, I don't want to install Windows 11 button. I wonder if that's what this is. So it was, they, they are seriously trying to trick me into installing 11 before I'm ready to make that jump. Yep. So I wonder which dock we actually have to go to. Well, hmm. this is most peculiar. You want me to jump over here and see if there's a guy with a music box? And if not, we can go to the other one? Ah, uh, sure. Why not? I'm just going to putter up and see what we see here. Maybe they're up. He didn't say. He, he implied that they were. Oh, there's another dock over there, too, though. Yeah, there's. Uh, there's there's three docks, apparently. I'm, I don't see anybody at these thingies at all. Well, there's so, there's a shipwright. Oh, well, maybe that's what he was talking about. No, but he, he doesn't have there. a music box. What's the person's name? Sybil. Yeah, 
Daniel, how you doing? Welcome aboard. Uh, well, I assumed it was somebody on the dock because he says we have to go behind them and jump into the water and find the freighter. Right. So, I could pull up the note, I suppose, and read it to you. Maybe it would make more sense to you to then. Yeah. Why don't you, know. you read the note? Because right now, all I'm seeing. I'd have to go way upstairs to find anybody yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, let me... Oh, I'll see what I, what's in this uh, barrel while I'm here. Sure. Why not? Let me uh, pull up Patrick's note. And uh, hopefully nothing goes sideways on me here. Where's Patrick? There it is. Okay. Man, man, man. Go to Sea Dog's Rest. There is a music box playing there. It's... Skeleton is next to it. Go. It says southeast-ish behind the skeleton into the water and swim. There is a crater with a glowing chest there. Reach into the chest, equip the lantern you find there, and go back to the skeleton and raise the lantern. That's the assignment that Patrick gave us. Okay, so, I don't see a skeleton here. So let's, uh... I don't, uh there's no... Okay, so we're looking for... Okay, so southeast ish East-ish? Whatever. Let's you know go what to the other doing. dock and see if it's there. And if not, we can come back here and search the island itself. Because you know how these things are. It could be up top somewhere. But, uh... Let's let's start as low as we can. Okay. I think the dock is going to stop us from driving through. Oh. Can you put us back? I'm not oh. sure if the water is uh, shallow enough. Let's be. There we go. Okay, so we're looking oh, we've for a got, skeleton. We have three docks here. We've got this one here, that small one that you're steering us towards, and then one on that other rock behind us now. Yeah, and that's the way I think we need to go because that's more south than this one is. So, but right, but let, let me see if there's a skeleton here. Going as slow as I can go here. God, I'm not kidding. I'm having trouble sailing the sloop. I need a galleon to sail. I'm not seeing a skeleton in a cage here. No. Nope. Yeah, I. I no skeleton what, in a cage here. It didn't say anything about a cage, did it? You it said there's written. a skeleton in a cage, and that's part of the uh, instructions. Okay, let me go back and so look the instructions again. Oh, I'll go fix the boat while you do that. No, it says there's a music box playing and a skeleton is next to it. So, I'm, I'm stumped. Okay. Well, I, I thought that meant there was a skeleton in a cage. Maybe I mis misunderstood that. But regardless, there's no skeleton on that well, dock. Maybe, because well, later on, on another note that he sent me, Hopefully, I hope it goes something like to the effect of, hope it's still there. Right, so, but there's no update today. It's tomorrow is the update, so... Whatever he's referring to, I would think it would still be there. So... Yeah, the update's cool. not till tomorrow, so we should yeah. still have it today if it's... Right, so... Oh, and there's another dock over there. Good yeah, lord, there's, there's docks everywhere here. Yeah, so I don't... He was very vague in that regard, so... But he said go to Sea Dog's Rest, which is that dock there. But yeah, technically Sea Dog's Rest is the center island. Right. So I don't know if I'd see a skeleton here or not through the scope. You would think you would see a s skeleton here. Like pinned to a wall or something, but I'm not seeing any of that. So, and we got gold. Uh, Bloomers on the uh, horizon there. So I don't know how far they are, but. You want me to go up on the dock and see if there's a skeleton or a music box? Yeah, absolutely. 
Oh, well, I haven't heard any music tracks either, so that's what I'm saying. I don't like, oh, fuck, I don't know. Uh... Well, that's the other thing. He says there's a music box, but... Playing. Mm. A music box playing. So but I... does that mean that you'll hear it playing when you get there? I, I don't know. It, he, like I said, it, uh, I read you what he wrote me, and it's kind of vague, you know. So, and there's, yeah, there's another doc there. So, uh, and nobody's commenting on this. So... <sighs> Nothing on the dock. I'm thinking we're going to be looking on the main island. Okay. Well, let's go over to this other dock. Well, well you know, yeah, it could be... Yeah, we'll, we'll look on any of the docks. I mean, we've got all yeah. the time in the world, but... Well, not quite, but almost. Oh. All right, we've got four hours. <laughs> yeah. So, because there's all kinds of places on the main island there that you can find things. So, I mean, I've only been here twice, so... But I think it was, uh, Falcor was saying they got... He was making predictions on this update, upcoming update. So... What does Falcor think the update's gonna comprise? It's gonna be a waste. That was my takeaway. I don't know if you noticed, but well, where we started, there was a mast on the dock opposite the uh, dock we started at the... Uh... Right. Yeah, those are at every... Well, apparently the thing upcoming is to save Golden Sands. Yeah? yeah it's going to be a team thing, apparently. There's another dock way over there, too. Fuck. So... Good luck finding anybody willing to team up with anybody now. Yeah. Now that room. now that you've pretty much forced everybody into adversarial PB. mode. Yeah, PB, P, P, PvP. No skeletons here. Okay. Or music boxes that are playing no on their own. Well, I, I was just hoping we'd hear it, you know, by sailing by, but maybe, maybe it's one of those things where you can't, you know. So. Well, it could just be something that you don't notice until you're until you approach it. Right. But we haven't even found a skeleton, so it's like, okay. I'm I'm assuming the skeleton's the easier thing to find. It wouldn't be a uh, Easter egg if it was easy to find. Oh, there's a dock on the other side of this rock. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I see nothing but a cannon on this. Yeah, and I think that's what the other one is way over there to the starboard, but I guess we'll go check it real quick. We'll run by it at least, and then we'll... Then we'll go search the big on. island again. Yeah. I, th I think you're right. I think this one coming up is just a uh, cannon. Right. Ubisoft is selling their company for 4.7 billion. I got a couple of bucks. <laughs> Who are they selling to? Elon? Yeah, probably, because I don't know why anybody would buy Ubisoft. Or Ubisoft. Uh, they, they are the Assassin's Creed people. That, that's good uh, enough reason for almost anybody to buy them. I yes. got... I got I got to send the wife a picture of the shopping list. Hold on a second. Okay. To make guilds? Yeah, probably. That wouldn't be, uh, that would be one way, yes.
Well, that's what I mean, Doom. There, I don't, you know, if they have one game that's popular and it's, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go back to Sea Dogs Rest here and, and uh, we'll peruse the island. But I don't. I am back. Yeah, I, I think. Uh... 4.7 is not a bad price for a company as, as immersed as Ubisoft. They have more than just Assassin's Creed, obviously. And uh, I think that 4.7 is a price tag that is attractive to other companies. Yeah, you might be right. I really hope it's not Microsoft. About the only company that I would think would buy it, but I could be wrong. In all honesty, I hope it's Sony. Yeah, I don't think. So. Well, they might be interested. I, I have my doubts, though. But. Well, that's not Christian. A Welcome aboard, my friend. We had a ladder here, but I don't see it. Uh, where is the ladder? I could have sworn it was here. Oh, no, it's back behind us. Yeah, I'll spin the boat around. Well, we don't need to. It's, it's close enough. We can, we can that, swim. Uh, maybe. Well, that worked really well. I have problems with my controller again. So we're looking for a skelly or a jukebox. Not a jukebox. What do they call it? Music box. Music box. I, and I don't hear any music, so... You would think if there was going to be something here, like worms... I hear music. Do you? Okay. Got some six cannonballs. I don't want a bunch of bananas, that's for sure. But I think it's coming from inside. Okay. I don't know. Did say go to Sea Dogs Rats, and we're at Sea Dogs Rats, so. I'm assuming right. by music box he means not like a squeeze box, but like a. Uh, uh, one of those. I know what he means. One of those things thought, like a. Uh, a hit, you know, a cranking music box yeah. type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, oh, what's this over here? Here's Carlos. Well, here's winter. I'm gonna go upstairs while you're doing that. I hear Kristen. music there, but yeah. Yeah, that that's the music that I think is coming from inside, though. Well, it might be. I don't know. Um, but I don't see any skeleton, is my point. Right. I haven't seen skeleton anywhere yet. Hmm. I'm assuming I'm supposed to be looking for a music box. Well, the skeleton, um, I know you came up this way, but I didn't know that you had all these traders here. Maybe it's in the bar itself? I, it doesn't make any sense, but okay. He didn't say in in Sea Dog Dress. He said go to Sea Dog. 
now I'm hearing a siren. Uh, that's our mermaid. Oh, okay. Because we're away from the boat. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we want to go up there somehow. But where do we want to go to find this music box and skeleton? Ah, wait a minute. I found an ammo box near a skeleton up on top of the mountain. But I don't see a music box up here. Oh, I just fell into the drink. I didn't make the jump. Where's Patrick when you need him? Hey, he's lollygagging as usual. Doing that damn work thing. What were, what's the note say we're supposed to do again? From where the thing, we're looking for a chest in a crater in the water southeast. -ish. So I'm in the drink. I missed a jump on the ladder. Well, I'm way on top of the damn cliff. I don't think that he'd want us going into the water from way up here. Southeast-ish of the skeleton. The skeleton, right? So I just, since I missed the water, I just or hit the water. I figured I'll go dive down and see if I find anything. It's deep water, though. Yeah, I think this is a waste of space or time or something. Whoop! Well, I missed the jump. Yep. I got company now. Apparently, you can only jump one way. Yeah. That's all right. Direction, direction, direction. Southeast. He said there'd be a crater. Underwater, yeah. So, but if you don't know where to jump in at, you could be doing a lot of freaking swimming. If you know what I mean. Uh, I saw your your. There's a record player by the chick at the bar, yeah. But there was no skeleton there. That could be the music box. You're right. If there's a record player, that could exactly be the music box. Well, there's supposed to be a skeleton. Which is kind of what I was going off of. The, the, so, but I, that, I haven't seen any skeleton, so, so that's... See, for me, that's the thing. If, if Patrick specified a skeleton, I have to assume he knows what he's talking about with skeleton. Right. Okay, I'll read it again. All right. Uh, go to Sea Dog's Rest. There is a music box playing there. A skeleton is next to it. Go southeast-ish, behind the skeleton, into the water, and swim. There is a crater with a glowing chest there. Reach into the chest. Equip the lantern you find there. Then go back to the skeleton and raise the lantern. Okay, so. And then later on, he says, in the, later on in the night, he says, "Hope the music box is still playing when you get there." So. That's it. That's the whole note. Actually, two notes. So. So, we did not hear any music box, but we heard music, but the thing key was we did not find a skeleton anywhere. The only skeleton uh, I found was way on top of the mountain. But you did find one. I found a mount a uh, skeleton. I didn't find a music box. Ah, okay. 
Well, I think it's a lost cause. Nobody has responded in chat about it. I mean, I don't know if Cass was still around or not, but he would know. And then in your chat. Oh, Zero's back in your chat. Zero is in my chat, and he thought the record player was at the, uh, the person at the bar. Could that be the music box? And that's but where no, I was where I was yeah. saying, yes, it could be, but we have a decided lack of skeleton if it is. Right. But now I'm way up on top again, in a different spot of way up on top. Where those uh, giant funnels are. Yeah. I don't see a music box up here either. The uh, Golden Reaper's Chest is at just by Paradise Springs, just the other side of Snake Island. By Plunder Outpost. Boy, that's not far from here. It is not. It is six miles, maybe? I think we should go for that, because that is a done deal. What do you it, think? It is indeed. So, I mean, we could spend a lot of time here accomplishing nothing, basically. I mean, if it's that difficult to find, what's the point? Is, I guess is my point, so... Hey, hey VG and Mikey! Welcome aboard! Donnie, you know, was... Ghost. Most islands are littered with skellies and skeletons, and this has none. So, Mikey, VG, good to see ya, Ghost. And Donnie, um. Pass. Welcome. Ready to set sail, Captain. All right, let's go get some, some, some uh, Reaper chest. Some gold Reaperage. Yes, yes. It's off that away somewhere. There it is. Off we go. Yeah, luckily we don't have to use our compass to find this. Yeah. Well, like I said, he was rather vague on the whole thing, if you ask me, so... Well... Saying go to Sea Dog's Rest, that's just, it's a pretty good size island. It would be like saying, you know... A screenshot might have been nice, too. Yeah. But I, I understand why... Yeah, he probably thought he was being clear. I, I'm not. I'm not going to fault him. He was trying to be nice. Oh yeah, I'm not. I don't have any problem with that because I, we can't find the skelly that he's talking about. So, uh, and he said specifically states music box, which has a specific connotation. So. Right, and even if a record player meant music box to him, the only skelly I found on the island was halfway up the damn island. Right. And there was no music box, no music box, record player, or nothing here. Yeah, swing by this little island here. Uh oh, player break. Heading in the direction of the streamers. Yeah, and I think we're gonna hold up at this little rock right here. Well, he's also heading in the direction of the tornado, so let's see what he does. Exactly. I would prefer not to PvP today, to be honest. I know, it's a 
That's a terrible thing to say, but... Wow, these barrels just popped up in the, out of the water. Perfect! Let me, uh, for all the sale. Oh, we don't have a storage crate. Damn. Alright. Get the goodies first, yeah. Captain Otto, welcome aboard. Otto says he's not familiar with uh, what we're looking for. <laughs> At Sea Dogs Rest. That makes it even more difficult, because. Yeah. Yeah, Otto, you weren't online earlier, so I didn't send you a message if you wanted to join or not. So. I know your, your scheduling thingy is a, a bit sketchy, you know, from time to time. But if you are interested, Otto, let us know, and we are flexible. We were going, we were going after the uh, bloomers because it's right down by. Uh, what did I say? Ah, shit, I don't remember. Paradise. Anyway. Now, plunder. Oh, yeah, we don't have a storage crate. I gotta lug this stuff all the way down to the downstairs. Shit. <laughs> Far to go. Yeah, it's a sloop it. die. It's six feet long. Yeah, I know. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, four bananas. Lots of wood, though. Good, because we were going to go after a skelly galleon, but we didn't have... We didn't we have, have much enough, for wood. Ball. Yeah, we didn't have much. Still don't have a lot. 58 is not a lot of wood, so... We go bananas. Oh, we will put those in the, in the uh, fruit crate. How's that? Oh, I can't do it that way. It'll take all the fruit. We want to just put the bananas in there. Well, I'll do that later. So, oops. I was trying to keep an eye on that brig. I lost it behind the rocks there, so. Uh, let me run up the mass here real quick up to the crow's nest. Just to see is he could sneak up on us, you know. Well, it, the brigs are sneaky. They are. Hey, we have a gunpowder up here. Did yes. it come with the boat? No, no, I uh, pulled it out of this uh, mess of barrels. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for not blowing up the ship in, pr in the process. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, I do not see the brig anymore. Uh, well, like I snake. said, he could be heading for either the uh, bloomers or the uh, tornado. Well, that's, oh, wait a minute. I might have stand corrected. He is... Well, he's between the tornado and the... And the uh, He's right at the in the mist. I just barely caught the sail. He's facing towards the bloomers, but he's not going there. Or maybe he I don't know what he's doing. Maybe uh, he's uh, camping them? Yeah. I uh, think he, he could very well be. So All barrels are dealt with. Okay, I'm trying to see if there's anything on this island worth actually looking at. There's some regular uh, skellies. I didn't. I don't see a, a crate. Snake Island is right. We did get a uh, map. It looks like it's not this island. Uh, no, that's. Uh, oh, I don't know. Cow sure. Patty Island. Yeah, Cow Patty Island. No, it doesn't have the swirl. Well, it kind of has a swirl. And it's only got one X on it, so it's not a high priority map. It's about, yeah. And Snake Island. Oh, wait a minute. This guy moved? Did he move? God, I can't tell. Yep. He seems like he's, he's moved. He's close to the streamers. He's very close to the streamers. Yeah, I was going to go to Snake Island, and that's like right next to where he's at. So I think. Well, he is turned. He's either facing us or away from us. Yeah. Good question. I'd say. Well, now he's turned. Yeah, that's. That's which is line. which is the short mast? The foremast or the yeah the yeah. foremast is the short one. So now he's facing yep. the streamers. Yep, that's, that's where he's going. It's like he was sailing around to figure it out or something. Undead, welcome aboard. How are you this fine Wednesday? 
I don't think it's tomorrow yet anywhere in the world. It may not be. Did you run the island to see if there was any uh, crates, storage crates? Um, <coughs> I did not run the island, but uh, Otto said check the chart. Sea Dog's Rest may not be the island we thought we think it is. Well, that's what everybody calls that is Sea Dog's Rest. It was the uh, thing C for the Athena. Athena? C no. What was that called? Otto thinks Sea Dog's Rest is a small island. And now that he oh. said that, I seem to remember uh -huh. something flickering on the on the edge of memory that we've been someplace called Sea Dog's Rest before. Okay, I mean, he, this guy's on the move. He picked up the uh, streamers, and he's probably going to head straight for Reapers, I would assume. That takes him kind of like right past us, right? Yeah, uh, yes it does. Pretty sure. No, I'm not... I'm honestly not interested in causing him grief, so... Yeah, you look for uh, an island called Sea Dog's Rest. I don't see right. a small island called Sea Dog's Rest, though. Uh, west side of the map. West near Sanctuary, he thinks. Alright, so I am Golden Sand. Sea Dog's Rest, it's right near Imperial Crown Fortress. He is correct. Aha! So we want to go almost due west. But we don't want to uh, threaten our friendly neighborhood brig right away. Well, I don't think we will. If We're heading due west, basically. Yeah, I don't watch the shallow here. Nope. Wow, that was close. Even that skelly complained about how close we got to him. Yep, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> you you have a good memory, Mr. Otto. Yep. Uh, actually, you're on a good course. Okay. Whatever that course may be. Not quite, uh... Uh, west northwest, basically. Yeah. Nope, here's three for sign out. I'll watch for, uh, sea mines. We do have some birds over the water. They're far enough off that we shouldn't be in danger. Thanks for uh, directing me there, Mr. Zero. What sail is that, Di? I don't remember seeing that one before. I don't know. Uh, Welcome back, it Shadow. Was, it's supposed to be kind of red, but it doesn't look red to me. It looks blue. Yeah. Blue and gold. Is this one of those internet things? Is it blue and gold or red and black? I don't know. It's, uh, it's all a mystery. Is it a dress or a sail? Yeah. Is it at Walmart? You know, what can you get at Kroger's? I don't know. <laughs> is it at Kroger's or is it from Rite Aid? Yeah, you know. It's so hard to remember these things. I don't know where that brick went, but I didn't see him at uh, Reaper, so. I did. Well, he's probably. probably not gotten anywhere near there yet. He might have stopped to uh, do the tornado. Yeah, it's possible. More power to him if he wants to take on two events at the same time, but 
The more time he screws around with that gold chest on his back, the more likely he is to get singled out. Yeah, you want to check our course? I will. Okay. Uh, we are well off course. You're going like southwest now. You want to turn northwest. Northwest, okay. Oh, those are those tricky currents. around a wee bit and a sloop. It's not a galleon. Okay. I'm gonna uh, run up the north. Otto side. has a very good memory for this map. I should never doubt when he says he remembers something. Yeah. That's true. Turn slightly more west so you'll miss uh, Wanderer's Refuge here on starboard. Yeah, the seas are kind of heavy right now. Yep. Well, we do have a storm off the starboard side, so... Looks to be about, what, six miles out from us? Yeah, yeah probably not that far. At least we got a tailwind. How much longer is the school year up your way, Otto? I know it's a little longer up in uh, your neck of the woods. My uh, wife and daughter are out picking up the grandkids right now. They just had their last day of school. It's a half day. Yeah, our school around here should be at this ending soon. If it hasn't, or I don't know for sure. But. Uh, that ahead on the starboard bow is Lagoon of Whispers. Okay. If you were to head straight for that, Sea Dog's Rest is in a direct line past it. Okay. From, so it's, I, gotcha. I, I know oh, that okay. you, spatially, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Jump over the lagoon and, you and you know, Dukes of Hazard it to Sea Dog's yeah. Rest. Absolutely. Man, I still miss that show. Boss Hog. <laughs> Roscoe B. Coltrane! Yeah. And Flash! Flash was my favorite. <laughs> yeah. was, I don't know if anybody besides myself watches Dan Bongino, but he had a really... I try show. to catch him as time permits, but I've got so much stuff on my watch list. I don't even yeah. catch all of Helena's shows. Yep, yeah, I know. I'm and same. Uh, and with the, you know, with everything going on in the real world right now, I I haven't even. I tr I tried to get some of my watch list knocked down this morning. Yeah. I got half an hour into watching programming and got dragged six ways for. Watching uh, the baby and then filling out some paperwork and then watch the baby and then more paperwork and yeah, you know how it goes. I do. Not seeing any crates. No crates. Um. Not even seeing scuba chickens. Wow. Looks like there might be some barrels floating the other side of the island. I see that. Going around for them. I had my fingers on the wrong buttons, so I just jumped off the boat. Congratulations. There we go. Back on board. 
There are some skellies on the island, but I didn't see anything in uniform. <coughs> Aunt Cutney Shell is kind of close. We should be good. Yeah. Looks like there's something blue in the. Yeah, uh, it looks like a. Might be a skull floating in there. <coughs> Ooh, some meat. Oh, pardon me, please. Beach, another piece of wood in there. Oh man, I gotta go put this down or I can't carry this with me. <laughs> you know how much you miss a storage crate when you ain't got it, I'll tell you. Oh yeah. Jeez. Zero, I tried catching up with streams that I've missed, and basically what I did is I I put two streams on at the same time, gave them thumbs up, put them on one and a quarter speed each, and watched them, paid as much attention as I could to them, and did other things. It has been a rough day. That's it off the port die. Yep. Uh, is it the little island or the bigger island? The tiny know? island, the uh, port poon is basically pointing at it right now. Okay. I wasn't sure which one it was. All right, Jared, headed for it. I tell you, my cat is the nicest little kitten in the, in the, well, kitten, he's over six years old. Nicest little cat on the planet, right? Respectful, he doesn't get on tables normally, stays off my desk, won't get on my lap if I'm at in my desk chair, you know? Unless I have popcorn. Then he'll climb right up on my desk and stick his head in the bowl. Hey, you got some of that for me? Oh, we never let our cats have any milk products. So, hopefully, well, that's not true. My, my wife gives them cheese. I hear a mermaid statue. Just faintly. You're about to ram the, uh, shore. Yeah, came out a little too hot. Ah, uh, well, you were, you turned it well enough. 
I'm going to jump in the water and see if I can see the mermaid statue. I don't hear it underwater. Maybe it was just a uh, me mishearing the, the music. I think it was out a bit further. That's why when we come around the island, we'll maybe hear something. I don't know. Oh, scuba fix. Music box. Skeleton. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm, I'm going to pull the boat around and... Behind the skeleton, there's a crater, he said, right? In the water. Southeast-ish? Ish, yes. And there's a chest in this crater. I'm hearing the music box. Here's the skeleton. The mermaid statue is right here near the uh, chest we're looking for. It is a greenie. I'm supposed to reach inside. Storage crate. The fallen sea dog lantern was added to the equipment chest. Okay, then you're supposed to come back and raise it before the skelly. There's actually uh, somebody on the island here drinking a bunch of rum. Yes. Liz, Liz something. Yep. Liz L. But it's in the equipment chest, so I have to go back to the boat to equip it. Oh. Well, I'm just running the barrels right now with a storage crate that I found. Oh, a storage crate. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Lantern. Oh, and there's another ammo crate here. So, this is well worth the stop just Lantern. for the grins. Fallen Sea Dog Lantern is equipped. Fallen Sea Dog Lantern, apparently. And raise, and raise oh, it. Who killed DeMarco? Look behind you. Someone killed DeMarco. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. So it's, do I have to go get the lantern too, or does it stay in the ship? I don't understand. Uh, well, I don't think it's available for you if you didn't get it. Ah, okay. I'm gonna go get the uh, green gem. Okay, and then like I said, we gotta. I'm gonna go get the uh, ammo crate. More pork. Let's come back here, you scuba pig. Take your break, die? Nope. I forgot. Die. I don't know, I'm gonna find out if I can pick up the music box after I get the green gem. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about picking it up. So It doesn't say I can pick it up. Then you can't pick it up. Boy, that tree is flashy. Okay. Let's 
Skellies. Those two crates can be pooned in if you want. Okay. Be back. Be back on the boat there. And put some pork chops in there. See if there's any more. Porkers running about. Alright, we got all the porkers here. Not seeing any more. Ooh, I think I might have missed a couple of barrels. I didn't see these before. That's all right. I had pocket space. Alrighty. So, someone killed DeMarco. And we got some kind of fancy lantern that's in the boat, I guess? I don't know what happened to it. Well, probably just... you may not have the fancy lantern. Well, all I can do is go dive on that chest and see if I get one. Right. I don't know. You, you want to go southeast-ish of the... Uh, I want to empty my pockets first. Well, yeah. You, you also want to take a break first, because uh, otherwise I'm going to harp on you and, and irritate well, you I, until you take a break. I think you should harp on me. Alright. Ah, that's close enough to full health, I guess. So go take your break, and uh, when you come back, you can go dive and get, get the lantern, and right. then get the you'll have it as an option. Yeah. And I'll keep the eyes open for somebody to come up and sink us. Right. And they can have all the all the treasure we don't have. And I ha we happen to be right near a Spanish fortress, so. Uh, oh, we can go do that then. We I'll can do that. I would love a portable music box in the captain's cabin. Something that you could you could walk up to and like when you choose the music for the for the instruments, you could choose the music out of the wheel to put on and and have it play while you're doing other things on the boat. As far as lanterns go, that's not a bad one. That sanctuary in the distance is dim lights in the distance. That's, uh, Golden Sands, under the fog. Apparently that's going to be the next quest line, is to restore that. Good luck getting people to team up to restore that. They went out of their way making us want to fight each other. Oops, I forgot about the pork chop. We'll just stick that one down there and forget about it.
Otto, it is the last Wednesday, and yes, we will be among us. Among friends. As usual, all are welcome, and all those who participate are welcome to stream on their own channels as well. Welcome back, Doc. Thank you. So, I go to the skeleton and then jump in the drink. Yeah, go, well, you want to go southeast, so basically behind the skeleton. Oh, what's this not? No, that's an ammo well, I'll take that. Wait a minute, I hear skeletons. Southeast-ish. Yeah. So across the island, follow the path. Yeah, you'll see. You'll there's a crater with some seaweed growing up out of it. There's a chest at the bottom that's got an orangish glow. It doesn't have an F for you to act? Nope. Well, then the equipment box on board will have the lantern for you. See, it didn't say that it was putting it in for you and me. It just said it was putting it in the equipment chest, so I didn't know if it was for you and me. Well, okay. Of course, I went the wrong way. Well, I guess I could go check the... I don't know. Does it give you a new lantern? To, it that, does. Oh. Cool. I will go check the equipment chest then. And see if I get a lantern too. That would be awesomeness. Ah, oh, you're cooking a chop. I am. There's also okay. two in the top barrel. It's vanity equipment. Lanterns. What's it called? Uh, forgotten something or other? In my case, it was in the top left of the lanterns. Ah, there's a new highlight. Nope, it's Inky Kraken. That's the one I'm using. Gold Hoarders, Wind Jaders, Lantern of Courage. You want to see what it looks like so you can compare it? Notorious Souls, Killer Whale. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't see it. Yep, I don't get it, I guess. Maybe only one of us gets it. Oh, that sucks. Uh, maybe when, you know, maybe it's only useful for this and it's going to disappear. Maybe, I don't know. Well, that sucks. Shall we go, uh, send some, hey, Plaz, shall we send some, uh, specters back to their, their domain, ghostly domain? Hi, Alan. Yeah, sure, we can go do that. Oh, that's really disappointing, I don't get a lantern. That's, that's kind of blows, you should, everybody on the crew should be able to do it. Yeah. It, but I have been denied. Well, at least you got to see the message, though. True. I don't know what the message pertains to. So, basically, uh, Patrick gave us a mystery to figure out. With no other knowledge. No, I 
did it get the fire lantern? That's what I'm saying. This is indeed the side of the fort we want to be on. Wow, they're shooting at you personally, it looks like. Yeah, they are. I'm going to swim ashore so that they'll stop shooting cannons. Okay. Alright, Zero, you get some rest. Thanks Absolutely. for coming by. Hey, Hawk. Hey, Hawk. Welcome aboard, my friend. I never saw the treasure chest out here. is out.
take care, Zero. How's it going, Chief? Just fine. Okay. I'm running the captain around the ropes. I thought I was, but he's not chasing me right now. He might be after you now. Oh, somebody's after you. He came for me. You must be downstairs. Yeah, Coming down to help. I opened the gate. Oh, he just disappeared. Oh, I guess I got him. Oh, it didn't take you much, did it? Did you hit all the cannonball barrels? No, I didn't even get upstairs. The captain walked up to me, I killed him, and opened the door. Evan. All right. No. Well, I'll, t I'll take the storage crate around then. Okay. All the, all the, I gotta move the boat up anyway, so do, do that. I'll pull the, the loot out. And, uh, uh do any good sitting behind there. Or over there. That's a good fight. Yeah. Captain did a good amount of uh, chasing me, but he did give up rather uh, abruptly once you grabbed a hold of that rope. Apparently. Yeah, I came through, came around to open up the, the little gate thingy so we could, um, you know, get a, get the loot. So, it's, it's inevitable. Inevitable? Inevitable. Take a seat. I want the skull. Damn it. Give me the skull. Right. You don't want to sit. You want to take the skull. Yeah. The game thinks that you want to sit. Yes. There's no cannonballs in the top cannonball barrel. Weird. Bunch of food and stuff down here when you get a chance. Well, you'll run all the barrels. Start. I assume starting at the top and working your yeah. way down. Yeah, I, I already hit all the uh, cannonball barrels, so I'm, now yeah. I'm going back with the uh, regular barrels. Put some stuff on the floor in the barracks that I found while I was checking barrels. A silver cup and a uh, decorative coffer. Yep, just throw it all in the pile. There is a treasure chest down here too, everybody. Yeah, there usually is one somewhere on the island. Yeah, I already got it. I already got it. It kind of surprised me that how, how it showed up. Because uh, it was outside. It's frequently outside. 
That's why we normally miss it. Yeah, probably. I find it almost always inside in the... Um... It's, it's tucked into corners. Yeah. Now, they definitely just, and it was. It was in, in the corner when the last barrel say checked when I was making checking barrels for food. I think I can't pick up any of this grog. You know, it's all over the place. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm always looking for it outside and being like, damn it. Why can't I find the damn thing? Yeah. Looks like you already hit the wood barrel. Yep. Yeah, you wow. got the you got you got all the there's only one wood barrel on the, oh. these fortresses, okay. usually anyway. Alright, I got all the goodies from down here, but you need to come through with a supply crate and um, check the if go through the yeah, those barrels got stuff in it. I already filled my pockets. Did we find the heap upstairs yet? I haven't gone through all the cabinetry. You haven't, or you have? I have not. Oh, okay. So. Go up to the kitchen and see if there's any fish in this barrel. In, in this... Yep, I'm gonna go start putting the treasure on board. Box. If you got the four top, cook on the four top. If you can figure out where it is. back too far. Yeah, they did a really good job with the audio in this game. Oh yeah. The sa the sea sound sounds like sea sounds. That the cooking meat sounds like cooking meat. It's fit. I really got to hand it to them. They they did not uh, mess up Screw this it game. Up. They they made a, a large enough number of mistakes in it. Don't get me wrong. Usually it's content-wise, though, not, uh... 
with their special effects. Okay, so I have the uh, current load of treasure is aboard. I have not found the key yet. Okay. Uh, I stand corrected. Found the key for the upstairs room. Okay. Do it that way? Drop oh, it I was just going to drop it down there because there's already stuff on the floor down there. Ah, okay. <clears throat> and that's this room cleared. I left the uh, storage crate in front of the four top, so I'll go get that. There's a skull out here, too. I have to uh, bring back to the boat. Oh yeah, uh, ironically the other day, VG, I had a, uh, a glitch in game where I couldn't hear anything but the background noises, and there's stuff in game that you can't consciously hear, that when all I could hear was what they had going on in the background was absolutely amazing. You know, the, the, the creaking of ropes. Oh, yeah. And the, not the, the splashing of water, but the little spritz of water as it sprays off the top of waves. Just amazing little things that they put in. Yeah, we got a skelly galleon behind us. Yeah, when I came out the door. <laughs> Go figure, huh? Well, he can wait his turn. Well, yeah, of course he can. We have plenty of shot for him now. We do. We I'm gonna take this. Wood. I'm gonna take the supply crate downstairs and offload the wood into the barrel and uh, the meat into the barrel. Ah, yes. Makes sense. Well, I'm going to offload all the food into the top barrel. Right. That way all that will be left in the supply crate will be shot. Well, we want to pull the bananas out of the... or the good fruit out of the fruit crate and put the bananas in its place. Sure thing. So, if you get that far. Yeah, I think that was a lucky glitch. Um, it only lasted for like five minutes. I, I don't remember. What was I doing when that happened, Guy? Did I die and when I came back it was like that? I think so. Or did, did I disconnected first. Yes. It was... Well, it you, was had, you, had, you had a glitch. Yeah, you had a hiccup. And it, it just... It, and you, oh, it was... Uh, no, it's when... Uh, it wasn't last week. It was uh, when they were messing with the uh, power cables down the street. Yep. Did 
Did that say you wound up leaving early because uh, your net was just being Be so bad? Yeah, because they couldn't guarantee connection. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the auto, the, the sub audio stuff that you really don't pay attention to that's going on in the background. It's like when you hear the mermaids and stuff, or you can hear a treasure chest underwater. Uh, it's just is these very subtle background noises that you hear. And if you don't have headphones on, you probably don't hear them. So, which is what I find is uh, really um, quite intriguing. So, oops, so, I think I got everything we dropped down here. Fruit crate is filled with bananas. Excellent. We can sell that off. And we still have 95 bananas in the barrel. Yeah, of course we do. <laughs> okay, I think that's all the treasure. Uh, and whatever else that we were doing. So I think we should go find an outpost and go sell our goodies. You don't want to destroy that galleon first? Oh, oh wait, wait Did I didn't see, see I didn't see, no, I didn't see that stuff first. I didn't see it. Okay. From the deck, I couldn't see the, d in, yeah, as soon as I got at the wheel, I saw it. Yeah, it's nighttime, so it's hard to see. Well, also, when you're not far away from it, it doesn't get the glow. Right. Well, I'll pick up one of these. It looks like that decorative coffer that probably won't be able to be hit because we're so low in the water, essentially, that it's kind of hard to hit the stuff on the dock. Which is why I think they give you that alternative uh, position. If you want to take on the Galleon, I'm, I'm game for it. If you don't, I'm game for that, too. Well, I'd rather sell our stuff. All right. Uh, so, closest port is uh, Sanctuary? Or uh, whatever, whatever. Plunder? Well, it's sanctuary. They're about the same, Sanct aren't they? Sanctuary's closer by about two, mi two and a half, well, three let's, miles. Let's go to Sanctuary, then. So that is northeast of here, Captain. Hi. So where the galleons headed anyway? Oh, that's uh, Golden Sands it's headed for. Do we get all the loot off the dock? I hope. We do now. Yes. Okay. Oops. Northeast, you said, right? Northeast. I'll just tail the galleon. I'm sure it'll show us the way. <laughs> well, basically, if you go between that galleon and that rock, yeah. it'll take us right to Golden Sands, or right okay. to Sanctuary. Because Golden Sands and Sanctuary are in eyesight of each other. Right. And I promise I will not shoot at the skellies. Okay. I'm up on the top of the crow's nest behaving myself. So you say. And maybe they're out just enjoying a day sail, you know? I mean... No, he was close, but not quite close enough. I, I thought about that, Otto. The problem is, we had already taken all the cannons, the cannonballs off the, off the fortress, so... If, if he was maybe a ship's length closer to the fortress, it would have been a nice, unsinkable platform to shoot him from. Again, the problem would be is that we took all the cannonballs off the island. Off the yeah, but they're all in the storage crate. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so good luck to the storage crate. So apparently, uh, the update tomorrow is you have to rescue Golden Sands. Although I don't understand how that's supposed to happen, but that's what the update about is about. So you have a choice. You can be a Reaper 
or you can save Golden Sands. So it's going to be a combat, so it's a PvP, team playing effort. You're going to want to go just uh, two points further to the north. going to play out as far as, you know, PvPing and all that good happy horse shit, but it's another, it's going to be another boondoggle, uh, like that other one is that uh, nobody seems to be able to complete, because the, you can't. Yeah, the, uh, what's it called, the shark one. Yeah. They, they went out of their way encouraging people to come back and play PvP right. in the regular server. And now they're saying, oh, but you need to cooperate to finish these missions. Which I think is just outright food. So, just say I think that I think we might be being pushed again. That should be it to the uh, fourth Four. bow. Yeah. And we're going to want to pass the island yes, on the on port, the port side. side. Yeah, that's why I turned this way. And besides that, sail between the rocks because it's a glorious adventure. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Running with the wind. So I, I don't mind that they wanted to encourage everybody to do PvP, and that's that's the direction they wanted to take their game. But then you don't encourage people to do it and then make all the missions you need two full crews. Or five people to do a mission. <laughs> You're never going to get cooperation out of people once you make everybody suspicious of everybody. Oh, I think I agree with you. And that matter of fact, somebody had talked about that. I don't know if it was felt for, you know, cooking or something or, or what, but uh, you were supposed to be able to take... A the way it was, I heard it was that you were going to be able to do claim a fortress to defend it. So, although I don't know what the reward would be, <laughs> but it would be fun to do, you know, so that for as long as you're, you have a port of call, your own personal port of call. Right. You know, but you'd have to get there by ship and they would just do nothing but sink your ship. So, it, that's what make, made no sense to me. So, what, what good is that fortress? to the player. Right. Eventually you have to leave to do anything else in game. Right. I think that they had some really grandiose ideas for those fortresses, but they didn't know how to execute them. Might be. Or maybe we just don't know the full idea yet. Maybe that's a fair assessment. Perhaps. I don't know. But either way, you know, whatever they come up with, you know, they have to decide, are they going to encourage, it's, it, I'm not kidding, it's going to come down to, are they going to promote more PvP or not? And... Now, I guess that's what it's going to come down to, I think.
if they want to find a way for players to have guilds where within your guild you cannot harm each other maybe that works That both encourages PvP and competitiveness. It also allows for some kind of guild alliances where one guild could... Yeah, but that, to do that, they would have to come up with a way for you to find somebody like on, on um, in 76 where you can join your friend on the, on the server. You know, so, but right now the way they got it set up, it, it's virtually impossible. The virtually. only way to, the only way to join your friends is by being on the same crew. Right. Up to four of you. But they so, have yeah. alliances, so you can't even get that to work out. Because I'm not kidding, most of the time I ever formed an alliance with somebody, they wound up stabbing me in the back. I've only had one alliance that actually didn't end with the ally sinking our ship, and that was Otto as the allied ship. There you go. Technically, VG, it's always been a PvP game. What, that's one... One of the reasons that the game lost a lot of popularity early in its life. Um, players who liked all the mechanics, but didn't want to be PvPers, kind of walked away. They weren't interested in, in fighting with each other all the time. Yeah, for instance, they got this whole storyline thing that's really cool. It's a real grind, but it's a really cool story. The problem is, you can't, because you have to become an emissary and all this other stuff. Well, as soon as you put that flag on your boat, you're basically just painted a target on yourself. So, you got everybody and their brother trying to sleep you, or shoot you, while you're trying to complete a emissary quest uh, to, to advance the story. And it's just, it makes it almost impossible. So, if you want to spend your time, oops, that's it. I, I think also it, it would be interesting if there was a, let's, you know, because there's a lot of interesting storylines in this game. Yeah. If there was a flag that you put up to do those storylines that prevented you from being harmed by other players and also prevented you from harming other players. Firework crate for now. I think that would be a good workaround. Yeah. Now you can go out and do your story. You're not hurting anybody, clearly. They aren't hurting you, so, you know, they sail up and they shoot a cannon at you, and it's the cannonball sails right through you without doing damage. And they see it doesn't do damage. Right. Conversely, if you fire on somebody, your cannonballs don't do any damage. Either. Exactly. So. There, there's ways to do it without revamping the entire game or changing the way their server selection works. They claim that it's that it's too difficult for them to revamp the way that their server selection works to allow us to choose go. our s servers. Return. Which is, yeah, I uh, they, we all know that's bull. Yeah. Every other. They can figure it out. You know, come on. Every other role-playing game online has allowed us to pick our servers since the dawn of time, and yet. Rare says you, they don't have the ability to. Oh wait, those are gonna go to the. Uh, we put those in there. If we want those to go to. Sea uh, post. Yeah. Or the reaper. Uh, the emeralds go to the sea posts. Well, yeah, you know, I don't know which one you feel more like working on, Di. Uh, well, I need hunter's call. Well, I need both. Then. 
just have some good old quarter. Okay. So. Well, my point is, it's the only thing that, besides meat, that the gold hoard or the, the uh, hunter's paw will take. So the only way I would just didn't take those to them, and then everything else would go to. We were here, so that's why we sold here. Otherwise, we'd be selling at Reapers. So. Oh yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, uh, see, that's no, I. I think that Rare's big thing is they really... Hey, Draco! Welcome aboard! I think Rare really wants the game... They want to force people into an environment where they can't have all their friends around all the time. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. And because of that, you never know if you can trust the other people on the water. Right. And I get it. It it does make the 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 fight more exciting. I'm taking a quick break. I'll be right back. Roger, die. But while that makes that aspect of the game more exciting, it also makes it more frustrating for the player who just wants to figure out the story or that story. I don't know. I'm just a gamer, I'm not a designer. Awesome, Mikey. Exactly, D Draco. Uh, I think that if they don't want to provide a PvE game, though, they shouldn't make major aspects of their storyline PvE quests that require cooperation with other players outside the size of your own crew they just did that uh that meg hunting quest where you you had to have five people play a song yeah it i i'm not fa faulting them for developing a game i'm faulting them for their execution in how they how they implemented some of their t their choices. I think that they could do things to make it easier on people who want to play this game in a PvE manner. But I, c I also understand why... S let let's say Otto wanted to go sink a player just because Otto's had a frustrating day and he's got a full crew, and, and he wants to go sink some ships, and he gets on a server, and he's on there with four other ships that only want to do storyline. So they're all flying the flag that prevents them from taking damage from other ships. So Otto suddenly has to server hop to find a server where he can actually find somebody to sink? That wouldn't be fair to Otto, would it? But if there was an option at startup, I'd like to play PvE. I'd like to play open world. Yeah. I I I got spanked hardcore in some PvP games in recent years, and I'm not I'm not blaming the people who do it. You know, they're there to have fun the way they want to, and if that happens to be by slapping somebody who's, who's worse at the game around, hey, good for them. They're better than me. Good for them. Now, the, the the running commentary about how bad I am at the game that's unnecessary or yeah a, a 
How about a Pirate Legends and above server or servers and a not Pirate Legends group of servers? Because really, if you think about it, you guys working your way up to Pirate Legends, it doesn't take a year to get there. So it's, it's I mean, I think, uh, Mikey, you've been playing, what, three, four months? If that. By the time you make 50 in three factions, you really do know the ropes of the game. You know how the, the mechanics work. You definitely know how each of the ship types work. Because by that time, you've worked with big and small ships. I think it would be fair to have more PvE environment servers available to lower level characters. Because, I mean, your level doesn't change how easy it is to kill you. It, it's your own skill. That's the other thing. This game, everybody has the same amount of damage they can take. Their weapons all do the same amount of damage. So, it's all about what you yourself hey, are capable of. Hey, Barbarian. I'd, I'd just like to see it be more user-friendly to folks who don't want to uh, hey, Don. to jump into the deep end, especially from square one. That That's me. I, I would like to see the ability to do a storyline and not feel like somebody's trying to shoot me from the, from the time I open the door. But hey, I also say... Like Draco said, it is their game. They developed it. I'm playing in their world. Right. The, and if I don't like the world they created, there's other games out there. Indeed. So what world events do we have? Uh, the fleet's up. Ooh. Ooh, that would be risky. <clears throat> we could definitely go start it, though. Eh, I think I'd rather take on some just regular old skelly ships. Arkham. Roberry, thank you very much for breaking down what the weapons do. I didn't know the exact numbers, but... Yeah, the weapons all do exactly the same damage. Yeah. Your, your clothing choices don't protect you. Your, your ship takes the same number of holes from a cannonball, regardless of whether it was fired at you from a sloop or a galleon. Yeah, you know, it's the the game is the same for everyone. Right. So it comes down to player skill. And that's where I I say that if a player loves the game but doesn't like the PVP aspect, you start getting into cross purposes. And unfortunately, this game is so beautiful, there is no equivalent without this game. Well, I'm inclined to agree. How many, times have we, how many times have we said it, Die? We're standing on this boat, looking out and feeling like when we were on the water in real life. Absolutely. Absolutely, I was saying it the other day, or last week, or whenever we were saying it. Just I sat down a galleon. I was down below, sitting in the captain's chair, looking out, 
and the boat moved in, in cadence with the sounds and stuff. And I, I remarked that it does how amazingly well that somebody, whoever did the sound, actually had spent time sailing because it is just remarkably accurate. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but uh, every now and then in the background, you'll hear the bell ringing with the motion of the boat. Yep. But not like somebody's ringing the bell. Exactly. And that impresses me so much because it's like being on a boat and the bell is just having that... the the no, Nobody's slamming the clanker into the bell. It's just it's falling into the side of it because the boats rock that way. Right. It's just, it's just a very... Yeah, it's this. Welcome it's aboard, it's... Otto. Thanks for coming over to my side, too. Uh-oh. He's, he's abandoned me. Okay. No, nah, he's just yeah. stopped over to say hi to the folks in my chat. Oh, okay. Okay. I understand. Sure. <laughs> but no, I, I actually agree with what, the, what Draco said. Rare made this game what it is. Yes. It is up to us to decide to play it or not. Absolutely. And we choose to play it despite our sometimes disgruntled nature of... Well, remember when we first started playing this game, how close we came to quitting it all the We... Because, uh, not just when we first started, we almost quit a few times. Yep. Because we're, we are not good at PvP. <laughs> and, you know... I, I actually give myself every advantage by playing mouse and keyboard because of how bad my hands are after 18 years of service. And my hands aren't quick enough with a mouse and keyboard to keep up with, you know, PvP. But hey, I acknowledge that. I, I still love the game. It's beautiful. I mean, look at this. Yeah, I mean, between, you know, well, they put their golden sands, but even that, this area is where I love to sail. And, uh, the color of this water is... Have you ever gone down to Daytona Beach? Oh, God, yeah. I mean, just anywhere in this part of the map, you're sailing along, especially if you go on the south side of this part of the map. It feels so much like the waters in the northern Caribbean and off the Florida coast. Yep, sure does. It is so beautiful here. Lyrical! Welcome aboard! Don! And Ryan, yeah. welcome. You definitely don't want me singing you a sea sit shanty, Ryan. <laughs> would wind up sounding like Itsy Bitsy Spider. You'd probably pay me to, to, to stop. Alright, we got pigs. And skellies. One of the skellies might be wearing a... No, he's not. I thought he might be wearing a jacket, he just... There is on the other side. There's a chest on the beach. Oh, that, there's a guy, a skelly in a jacket, and yep. in front of him is a skelly with a powder keg. Perfect, shoot the keg. <laughs> just slip on around the tip of the island and I can uh, do that for you. Oh uh, no, the captain walked over here. Oh crap. Okay, well maybe we can get the get the um, get the powder boy to show up too. Well I can get the powder cake to walk over here. And the captain to walk over here. Oh, it's just a matter of committing suicide. <laughs> See if I can do that. Whatever that chest nope, pass the chest. That'll shoot. Here comes Powder Boy. 
Yep. Don't be stuck on the rock. You went the other way around. You're coming up behind the captain. Yep. Got him. Oh, where'd the powder boy go? What the hell is he up to? I don't think he understands how this works. Apparently not. Powder Boy is trying to get me, the captain is it. Hey, Captain, come here. Exactly, Otto. Yeah. There. It only cost me most of my health. There you go. Which is better than all of my health. Where'd you put? There's the boat. Yeah, it kind of drifted past. And you have a uh, treasure on the coast there. Cool. Well, after I bring the, the captain's head back, I'll go get that. Well, after I eat about a dozen bananas. Yeah, eat some bananas. We got lots of bananas today. One pineapple, but a shit ton of bananas. Well, if I eat a dozen bananas, I will shit a ton. There you go. Not until next Thursday, but... <laughs> I just need three porkers on this island. Oh, I didn't want to pick that up, but damn it. Just the one. All right, dude, realistically, you just watched me cut your buddy down and you ran towards me instead of away from me. Nobody said they were bright. All right, where is this? By the palm tree, I think. Yeah, maybe not that far over. Eh, close. Oh, it's a super keg and skellies came up. What's a super keg? Yeah, the kind that Crazy Eddie gives out. The, uh... You know what I mean. No. The kind that goes boom or the, the fun barrel? The, uh, fortress keg. Stronghold. Gunpowder. Oh, the, yeah, wrong old gunpowder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I was wondering at that point. Yeah, we don't want that to go boom. That's worth some serious money, though. I don't know if that freight's gonna be in coon range. Ooh, probably not. Well, like that effect. Got it. Fireworks. Oh well. That's better than nothing. Did you ever figure out which island this other one is? I I that one the head is smuggled. Actually thing. Yeah, judging by the size of the ship that sunk next to it, for one X, I don't think that one's worth going to. Because that's going to be hard to find way up there. Oh, the other map? The other... Yeah. No, I never even looked for it. It's only one. I don't know what it is. It's only one. It, And it's... 
It's going to be a tough one to, to find way up on that island. It, we might yeah. actually be right near that island. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at it, and it looked like it might actually be the island we're facing right now. No, the island we're facing right now should be Smuggler's Bay. Okay, it's, it's definitely not. not. Okay. No. So, Cow Patty Island. Plunder Valley. Plunder Valley. Yeah, oh, that's a huge one too. But I will mark it. But I don't think. I don't. I don't see any point in going there for one X. No, and it's, you're right. It's up at the top, and it's in the. Yeah, it's going to be in the weeds. Let's just well, go look for skellies popping up. Yeah. Let's go over to Smuggler's Bay and see if there's anything noteworthy over there. There's usually something up above the arch. Exactly. It's definitely, we're not down by Snake Island anymore, so that's what I'm saying. There's, we missed the opportunity for Snake. Although, if we get wind up back down that way, that's okay, too. So. Well, Ghost, the, the game is pretty straightforward. Yep. We're pirates. And we do pirating things. Air the welds to sink. Or something like that. Drink rum. Yeah, drink rum. I gotta reminds me. I gotta, I gotta go get a bottle of Captain Morgan, I think. I haven't had any in a very long I am actually partial to, if I'm gonna drink rum, to Kraken. Really? Is that a brand? Yeah. Kraken rum? Yep. There was one that, I can't think of the name of it anymore, but there was one that we could get here in the States, but I had it down when I was down uh, in the Islands Month, you know, and it was a Jamaican rum. God, was it good. And uh, there was a few places that sold it back in Chicago, like not here. So... But man, I really enjoyed it to no end. There is a rowboat. I see that. I'll definitely take the storage crate over there and go empty that sucker. Well, if it's in better shape than ours, we might as well replace ours. Oh, well, they've got. There's a point. There's a point. Yep. We'll sail around the bay once here. See what's here. And it's a shame that the uh, lunder bombs don't do a. Uh, Yeah, we didn't sell that powder keg either, so we got two kegs up there now. And we do, we do. Um, it is a PvP game with PvE storyline. Right. And the problem is, is that if you want to do the story, you got people who want to stop you because they're PVE, PVP, and you're PVE. So, so it's a, a an immediate conflict. It's a poon regard. boat. Oh, if it's in better shape, like you said, do we care? Take the cannonballs out of the ones that you left in there. That's my point. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else really. I should look over here, I suppose. We'll sell around the outside too, unless you want to. Take a run around. I don't see why you would want to, but no, I do and I'm not. not seeing anything up above. Because normally you can see the little sparkly, and I don't see anything. I didn't see it coming in. So ah, uh, thank you, BB. Help yourself to a a uh, mug of grog. Yeah, goes the. Uh... The biggest downfall of this game is the lack of being able to uh, separate the PvP aspect. You'll notice that I'm slaughtering chickens, VG. Yes, we're going to have country fried steak tonight. But when we used to do this at, you know, 
couple years ago, we ran all the quests and all the crap, and, and we ran all the emissary flags. I can't tell you how much time we spent getting stunk. You know, well, uh, there was also a period of time when it was a little easier to do as well. Hey, Rick. Let's, let's not... Yeah, yeah. That's true. Let's not forget that also. There, there was a, a period of time where... Players like ourselves could run a quest pretty much without seeing another player. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, is it, what was it the U-Boats yep. commanders called the first half of the war? The Happy Times? Hey, Pixel! But there, there was a brief time here when... Uh, we got gold bloomers again. Ooh, gold bloomers. How far away? I'll take a look at the... I I, I, I'll, I'll take a look at the chart to see if they're... Southeast! If they're not... Southeast, that's got to be not too far, right? Oh, no, south southeast is it's not too far though. It's uh, it's right off Reaper's Hideout. Uh, 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 well, we're gonna go for it, and yeah, right after we go around the island once to see if there's any. Yeah, it it is two and a half miles from Reapers. I wonder why there's been all this activity around Reapers, including um, nope, there's a crate. Oh, nice snatch! Well, Cannonball done. crate. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah, we got one that we can sell. <laughs> oh, looks like we might have another one coming up here. Or something. Nope, oh, never mind. It's a rock. Optical. It's optical delusion. So. It's a rock. Yeah. Sometimes they take a while to render in, you know, so it's like, oh yeah. I got a galleon. <laughs> it's really hilarious. If someone's on the bowsprit and sees something, the person at the wheel never sees it because it hasn't rendered in yet. So, kind of weird how that Had that happen more than once. Somebody says, oh, there's birds up there. Uh, no. Where? And said, oh, yeah, there they are. <laughs> yeah, it's kind so, of weird. Someone on the bow sprit, sprit yells, Karen. <laughs> and you're like, no. <laughs> really? It's just weird how that works. Or they're, they're, uh... It's like I was used in, in uh, you can, in Fallout, because uh, I'm running a cheat terminal, and I can determine how fast, extra fast do, I can do run. Do I hear a voice? No, do you? I thought I heard a voice. No. We all hear things, so. Just saying. Anyway, so if I found out that if I run at two times the normal speed, if, are you running faster than it can render? And I literally killed myself like three or four times before I go, let's not do this anymore, you know? So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Pixel, good to hear from you. 
run into a firefight and get killed before you know that the, oh. anything's even there. Yep, I had that happen more than once. I don't know how many times I've run around the corner and found a suicider that I didn't know was there. Yep. Of course, then you get a face full of. Face full of mini nuke. Yeah. So. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channels here, folks. I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers. I'm at 907. And uh, I would tell you a pack of lies, but I don't lie, so I'm not doing anything special. Uh, just been a goal of mine for over five years now to get to a thousand subs. And uh, you know, I'm sure YouTube is about to do a purge, so which will probably take me down to about 800. So. Well. I'll, I'll tell you the way it is. I joined YouTube as a, as a streamer with the idea that maybe I could make some money doing it. And after starting, I changed my goal to share games that I like playing and hopefully entertain you guys along the way. Yep. So. If y'all wanted to contribute, great. If you don't, enjoy the game. Yep. That's why we're here. Yep. Post, uh, Rob and I have Ko-Fi... Uh Accounts? If you well, want we got to... something on the beach. Uh, yep, ammo crate by looks of it. Stowage. Mostly oh. fruit and a little wood. Ah, okay. Well, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. So. We'll finish coming. Oh. Is that a galleon I see over there? Sparkling over on the waterways. On the way to the gold streamers. Behind the rock right now. Aye, that is a, uh... Well, it's blue and green lights. Yes. And there's way too many of them to be a sloop. Yes, definitely way too many to be a sloop, so... Let's see how my gunnery skills are today. Well, we'll find out, I guess. Seeing anything else on the beach worthy of note. I think we're gonna head for the galleon. We are off, sir, at a mad dash. I agree, VG. She's been doing this a long time, and she has helped a lot of us get our feet under us. Who's that? You. Me? Hey. I've got no such thing. I believe in supporting other YouTube streamers, or other streamers in general. That's, uh, yeah, we all serve a purpose. I live to serve. Well, he's going off somewhere to port, but I don't know what he, well, he could be coming over again. Kind of lollygagging at it, but. He's actually coming over to Smuggler's Bay, uh, Whatever this is over here. Yeah, it's Muggler's Bay. I use. Oh, shoot. Oh, thank you, sir. Little regen will go a long way. I have some cannibals. On the off chance that I may need them. On the off chance? Yes. I expect you to take them down with three shots. Hoping you plan on firing a cannon or two. the wind here. But well, that's okay, because, you know, he has turbo diesels. He's never going to be slower than us. This is true. Well, unless I have hold, furled the sails completely. 
But if he stops, maybe I can blow him up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get the dynamite. Well, I'm going to wait to see if he actually stops it. No, he didn't stop. He just turned 90 degrees and kept right on going. He's like Knight Rider. Yeah, I was hoping to be able to cut across his stern. But uh, this may not happen. My stepfather used to love that show. 220 miles an hour with a sharp right turn into a driveway. Yep. <laughs> Draw a couple in his direction. I don't know. I think I might have hit him with the first one, too. Oh, well, maybe. I got some funky music. That was it. Kip was awesome. I, I will never downplay Kip's awesome. Does anybody else see two water skiing skeletons behind the galleon? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doing an action turn. Apparently so did he. Yeah, I saw that. Are we uh are we in need of repair? I hope that. I'll go check. I gotta set a night turn. Oh yeah, I got it. Oh no, I don't have it. I can't just move me off the sure. Yeah, we need a few repairs. Just got barrel balls. Yes we did. Where's he hiding? He was behind us. There he is. Another anchor turn. Now we don't want to do a go broadside to broadside with him. No, we do not. I got yeah. rid of the water. His turn was a little bit more uh, yeah. impressive oh, than I thought it would be. Keep hitting him. Oh, he just turned off. Oh, found the crap out of him. Okay. Go do uh, repairs? Roger, heading below. Look okay. Okay. This is 
creaking a lot, and I'm trying to figure out why. Yeah, we're about knee deep, but I got the holes. Okay. Coming about. How's he firing me? Oh, he turned around. Damn it. Oh, you were already on the gun. I, I got some shots. I figure if you're on the gun, why should you have to steer? That's the fight. That was a good hit. Changed it. He's changed his arc. He's down. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Where'd he go? Port side. He's way over there. But he has changed his arc drastically. That's a good hit. Oh, that wasn't a hit, but it was a good spot. I didn't want him to to cross over us. Right. Turn the other way. I am. Okay. You got this. She's down now. She's yeah. a wash. She's a wash. Got it? Slipped under the wave. Where's our birds? Bird, bird, bird. bird is They're right, right there. there. And that loot should be right coming up. He's gonna have to move up a little bit. Maybe. I don't see the loot yet. Right off oh, the starboard right bow. It's right here. It's How's that for placement? Place. It's actually going right by us. Did I leave the sail down? No. No, we're just drifting past. Oh, there's a keg, a uh, cask of a thousand rods in there. We're losing. Oh, that's ammo pouches. Okay, it's not. Ignore them ammo pouches. They they'll yep. pop up and then they'll sink pretty quick. Yep. This one was way out there. Oh, 
Should be uh, should be in line pretty quick there. Rob, take the uh, boom. Got it. A nice. bad one. Nope. Um, you wanted to hit a uh, sea post. You want to go get the? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Chest. Reaper's chest is still out there. Yeah, let's go get the Reaper's chest and then uh, head to Reaper's. Or do we have enough gems to fill a uh, couple of crates worth for the outpost? Uh, Thanks. let's see. We have. Two in a box. We have one we just got, so we have a full chest. Okay. So, but still, let's get the uh, Reaper's chest. That's not gonna last forever, you know that. Oh, we got another uh, an emerald here. That's. Uh... Fallout guy, how you doing? Hey, you Fallout guy. Games. I say we go get the chest and then head to Reapers. What do you think? Or do we have an outpost nearby? I, uh, we do not. We're not near a uh, sea post. I think there's one. There's one down by North Reapers. Star is close to Reapers. Yeah, that's where we're so going. we can hit that after we drop the the Reapers chest off. Yeah, exactly. Let's go down to get the. I mean, nobody else is down there. I'll take a quick look at Picaroon Palms on our way by to see if they built the Ponderosa yet. Okay. Oh crap, did those bloomers disappear? Or I just can't see them? It's still on the map. Yeah, but I don't see the bloomers, which means somebody picked it up probably. Or it's on the other side of that storm. Well, that too. Is that a captain in That's the water? That's a captain. Okay, well, we gotta go get him. Well, then hit the anchor, I guess. Uh, yeah. And there's a crate on the beach. So you go get the captain up at the again, I'll see if I can tune the crate. Oh, I missed. There we go. Ah, oh, another storage crate. I'm not sure. Is this a uh, map for Picaroon Palms? Uh, I'll tell you in a sec. I'm just going through these storage crates. Roger, Quick. roger. Alright, let's see. You said we had another map? Just got another map. Yeah, that does kind of look like it. Well, no, Picaroon I thought went the other way around, but maybe this is it. No, this is it. Okay. And, there, and it's this end of the island, so... No. Uh, is it? Mm. Oh yeah, wait a minute, nope. Uh, oh yeah, there's the little path. Okay, and then there's one on the path. Alright. Sounds good to me. That's one now.
Yeah, I have to assume somebody got the Reaper uh, thing. I don't see the, the Reapers. Yeah, it's still on the map. Yeah, but and in the same spot. Which yeah, is kind just... of uh, like they are waiting for somebody to come look for it. Yeah, maybe. But what's down here? Yeah, it's right by, it's right by Reaper's seat. where we wanted to go. Oh, we could go to the North Star Sea Post and then uh, see what they do. Maybe. I don't know. Kind of one of those deals, you know? Sure. How's your pooning? Uh, eh, I, I poon a little bit to the left. Oh, here. Poon that. Well, I had to get the Ritual Skull. I was going to carry the skull because that would be the easier thing for you to do, but okay. What? <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> yeah, so what do we do now? They took the they took the Reaper or whoever grabbed it. We're not close enough to actually see anybody, but they would well, be down there. What, whoever's... If somebody's got it, they haven't gone anywhere with it. Right. And my point is, they're right down by the sea post that we we're going to stop at to drop off. The go bed. to the sea post and, uh... And then I wanted to go to Reapers to sell our stuff, but... Yeah. yeah. Full speed ahead. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much do sell. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, that's... So I guess we're going to stay with our plan. I just don't want to get we into all plan? this stuff, had, which is just about break time, so... Yeah, I, I hear you. So. I I just think, you know, they're, they're doing what they're doing, and yeah. either we're mistaken and we just don't see the streamers. Right. It's happened it, before. It has. Or somebody picked it up and didn't go anywhere with it. Or, you know, another possibility. Somebody picked it up and was immediately sunk by someone else, so it's just floating in the ocean. Well, they're, yeah, I get it, but that is possible. It has happened. Crack. Karen! I'm hard about. Crap. Figures. I'm in the oh, mouth. I'm in the mouth. Oh, oh. My, the button and the wheel is turned. What a piss. And now she's attacking the boat. Swimming for the boat. Okay. Stop it, Ripley. Oh, God. Yep. Bail. Bail. We got holes. We got holes. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Look at the plus side. 
Karen is not capable of barrel balling us. Stop it, Lieutenant! No! How are we doing down there? We're good, we're good. Oh, that sounds like we're taking water. Not too badly, though. No, I can't get my bucket. I got it right there. We're out. We are indeed. Are we going to try and punish her some more? Uh, we can. I gotta go take a break now, so. Why don't we just head to the sea post? We got the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the course. Uh All right, I have to go around her, but yeah. What? All right, I'll be back. You know those uh birds floating inside Karen yeah. are uh the tentacle we killed. Yes. Oh, we're not worried about fixing the boat, Ghost. It's a rental.
That's the one thing I really like about this boat is the map placement. You can just come back here and look at the map and see how you're doing course-wise. Once again, Karen did not succeed in sinking us. And she's still back there complaining. She's waiting to see our manager. Did we go and do the thing? Yeah, we went and did that for Oh, yes, yes, we did the thing. Yep. Look at the map, like, and I'm to the crate. Right, the, the map on the sloop, however, is right behind the wheel. On the brig and the galleon, you have to run down on the main deck in front of the wheel and right. run a, basically you have to run a pretty good distance from the wheel. Thank you, BB. We're here, we're here. Yes, welcome back, Doc. Thank you. We were most of the way here, and she was still back there demanding to see our manager. Uh -huh. see. We got seafood to sell too, right? Yes.
Oh, you got all the seafood. Okay, cool. Cool beans. Pulse up on deck. I guess not. Apparently, I put the boat in the exact wrong spot. Yeah, that happens. I noticed. Oh, we just saved a little meat for We could sell them a cup by how the pork chops aren't really worth all that much. They're only worth 45 I also just discovered the shark is only worth 45 I could have skipped selling them that. But. Well, we got seven pork chops, so why not sell some of that? That's sure. So, take five pork chops and those, you know. Roger. Well, maybe steak donuts instead, but you know what I mean. Julie! Julie! I didn't get a lantern, Patrick. Only I got the lantern. Yep, I got screwed. So... There was only one, one, uh... Lantern per person, per... I don't know, whatever. I didn't get one. Another fuck job by Rare. Suppose I grab a supply crate here and go run the barrels real quick here. It's a good looking lantern. Yeah, I liked it. All right, I'm going to take a quick break while you're uh, doing that. Yep. All right. Let's see, did we get any cannonballs? Oh, we did. We got 14 cannonballs. And some more crappy fireworks. <laughs> ah, well, what can you do? Oh, that's a, uh, well, if we go to, um, I knew we had another skull someplace. I'll take that at. Nope, just a one. Let's see, what about over here? What's this? Exquisite spruces. Nope, okay. Took a break. Well, at the map table. Dang it. <laughs> oh, well, we ran a fort, or a fortress, I should say, rather. Um, we did. Sunk um, a skelly galleon. <clears throat> got crackened. We're on our way down to Reapers. Uh, but Rob has got his finger on the map, and so I can't really go south or 
Yes. Support battle, basically. Put that away somewhere. Uh, I see a higher slope, it looks like. Uh, and another sloop over there. No, this is not good. Oh yeah, we've been busy. I, we always manage, you know, stopped at a few islands, picking up supplies. Yeah, that is a player's loop for sure. I am back. Welcome back. We got a player's loop out here, and a, I'm not sure if it's a skelly's loop or... So, both off, well... Distance and direction. Okay. Off the port bow, one, one degree, and... Port bow about three degrees at the miss line. Both the same distance? Yeah, it kind of looks that way. I'm trying to determine. One's got lights on. I don't know if they're heading for Reapers or not. Reapers is right over here. We're on the wrong side of Reapers as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I, I was considering going to Reapers from here. Yeah, and, but the other one seems to be sitting still. He might be flying the, a pennant. He is flying a pennant. He's at the uh, island there, which okay, we've, the we've been right to a lot. Yeah. And hey, welcome back, Rob. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you are up here. Okay. Well. I'm up in the crow's nest. Um, the other one has to be a skelly. Uh, too many lights on it. Yeah, I think I think so too. Now I can see it from up here a little bit better. Let's go ahead and go to Reapers. Um, which is right over there. Yeah, it's Port just tonight. a it's just a skip from here. Yeah. So I think that's what we're gonna do, and we'll see what happens. So. Yeah, getting cranked was fun. We've, we've faced worse fates. That's true. I was surprised at how well the, uh, <clears throat> the swizzle stick worked on it, so. The swizzle stick worked surprisingly well on it. Um, yep. I, I still do yeah. not like that damn thing. I don't either, because you uh, can't do anything while it's in your hand, so. You can't aim it very well. Just keep an eye on that player sloop. I'm not worried about the skelly. He's not going to instigate. No, but... I don't think the player's going to abandon whatever quest he's on at that island to... Right. Yeah, I think I'm going to uh, grab one and empty it into the other storage crates and then uh, put the uh, empty up at... Uh, up at the bow? Yeah. I think it's the way to go. So That'd school is out for summer here in Las Vegas. Probably out here too, down close. And South. I entreated both the children to be extra good at school today. A little wide of this island, there are some shallows off to this side. And I, I got the good behavior report from my grandson. I haven't gotten the report from my granddaughter yet, and unfortunately, they've both gone for a nap, so I'm not going to get that till later. Well, I have to tell you, I've been using it more often. Uh, the, uh, they do work, and uh, they work really good against those, uh, I don't know what they're called, the, you know, the crawdads on shore, whatever the hell Yeah, they called. work really good against the ocean crawlers. I'm yep, not never going to complain about them with that particular foe. 
There is a chest on the island over here, so I'm it gonna go... looks like there's more than one, actually. We have a treasure chest, uh, a bunch of plants, I don't care about those, but the treasure chest, uh, yeah, we'll take that. What's in it? Oh, I mean, it's a real treasure chest. They even had gold in it. Two skulls. Wow, okay. Anything else here? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I thought there was another chest I thought I saw. Yeah, maybe that's a rock. Right on the end of the island there? Can you tell us I, by the rock? Oh. It looks like a rock to me. Okay. But also, remember that loot has to come aboard the ship to count as yours? Yes. I see your point. I didn't have the loot in on the boat. So, good point. Okay, I got two chests filled with skulls, which is a good thing. You can sell the plants to reapers. Got 700 last time you sold them to him. Right. But I'd have to get it back to the boat and then to sell it. So, I figured it's good. We can go get them. I don't really care. I'll go grab them. I mean, they're right here. Alright. I'm going to take the garage over. Wound up in the drink. Never fails. We gotta get those kegs out of the loft too. That Roger. Worth some serious bucks. Figured we'd go after those last in case we yeah. need them. Yeah. Big ticket item here. If I can get around, get up the ramp. Oh, up. Almost made it. Come on. Oh, missed. Okay. Again. There we go. Nope. Come on. You can do it. Woohoo. Do they even still do the it has to come aboard to count as yours thing? I don't. <clears throat> I don't know. I thought that was only like if it was uh, stolen loot and stuff. I thought you had to do that. So, well, I know going? that when you find loot. Until you bring it on deck, you don't get the thing that says, you know, that notification on your screen? Yeah. It says loot brought aboard. Why would they still give you that if it doesn't matter? Well, that's a good... Well, I was going to say, go ahead and sell it and then see what happens. So, we get nothing. See, treasure aboard ship added to log. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Now it's added to the log. And then it should have said, first mate falls in the drink because he can't see where he's going. Yes. Seven hundred gold. Good call, yes. Patrick. Yep. Uh, Casper's right. It ain't yours until you can sell it. <laughs> this is a valid point. You may have treasure, but it ain't yours until you sell it, so... <laughs> we have found out many a time. So I still don't know what happened to that last Reaper chest. So they must have just gone over to Reaper. I don't know. Maybe they rode. I don't know. I, my guess is they just sat around with it for a while. Yeah, it could be. And what was the rush? If there, there's not a Reaper on the map and nobody else is pressing them for it. All right. I really like selling at Reapers because you only have to go to one guy to sell everything. So. Yeah, she, she gets. She buys him. absolutely everything. Yep. And we're not at max affinity with her yet either. Right. It's 
1526. Are we gonna sell our treasure chests here or go back out? Uh, well, I'm sure we're gonna go back out, but the question is, do we need... We could sell them if you want. I'll sell one. What? Oops, I just fell in that drink. So, you didn't have you didn't have a box of ferns keeping you from being able to see, Doc. This is true. I missed the extra little jump. But you, yeah. So don't forget, everybody, Rob will be streaming about an hour after this one ends. No. He'll be streaming Fallout 4 tonight. Not Fallout 4 tonight. Not Fallout 4 tonight. See, that's Among what he us. said. Among Us, yes. Tonight is the last oh, Wednesday of the month. Yeah, so it won't be an hour afterwards. It'll be what? It'll be an do? hour. Oh, will it? Okay, because I thought you did that one a little bit later. I normally do, but, uh... I, w I want the consistency of start time, so we're, we're going for, uh... 8 o'clock Eastern. 8 Eastern. Gotcha. Which makes sense, you know, for those folks on the east side. Well, we also have a couple of folks who come in from England, and, you know, that, that extra hour of waiting is... Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's real late for them. Exactly. Or real early, depending on how you want to look at that. That's everything there, everything there. Oh, speaking of that, if Pixel's still around, did you and uh, Tony test out his microphone like you wanted to? I know he was very anxious about his mic not working quite right. I think it's everything. Oh, you got a cannonball crate. I didn't know uh, we had a cannonball Powder. Oh, yeah, the powder. Shit. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Alrighty. Well. Oh, we got an ammo crate up here, too. Yeah. Yeah, there was a second ammo crate up there, too, so... Yep, we want to sell those. I forgot we had that second ammo crate. Well, we only did one fortress today. You ran it quite nicely. So... I'm telling you that... that hover at the... at the... ammo crate method works... Yeah. Great for a sloop. Oh yeah, well I don't think they have as many attacks if you're on a sloop versus a galleon or a brig. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, there's a, there's a, only like five ghosts per wave with the sloop. Yeah, it didn't seem like it was overly like when we do it with a galleon, man. There is a shit ton. So it's quite busy to say the least. Check and see if there was 50 in here. Do that. That is full. Well, if he hasn't said anything, I'm going to assume that he's confident his microphone is working properly. I'm not going to, uh... We have that player's loop. He's not heading this way now. I'm not going to worry about his microphone if he's not. Zero woke up. Welcome back. Welcome back, Zero. Did you enjoy your cat nap? Wow. Oh. 369 for an ammo crate. That's pretty good. Some galleon off the uh, port beam. Oh. Galley, I hope? Can't tell. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we got some, we got treasure chests up here. God damn it, we got them everywhere. All, all over the place. There are no lights on this galleon. No 
Well, that's not good. Unless, uh, you know, unless the skellies figured out how to blow out the candles, you know, so. They don't have lips. They can't blow. Yeah, they do suck, though. We got a player galleon out here, huh? Uh, we got a player galleon in one direction. We got that player sloop, but not coming direction. this way. Right. I, I think uh, if if we finish selling stuff, we might be uh, finished yeah. overstaying our welcome here. Yeah. You want to grab, grab that ammo crate and refill it, and or do we want to hold on to that for right now? Your I choice, Captain. It. It's it's yours. I say sell it. Fill it up and sell it. It's bring go her. For the... Bring her in. Did you fill it up? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I know. I think I. Well, maybe I didn't. I thought. Yeah, you took two bullets out of it. Oh, okay. Let's see. At least I'm consistent. <laughs> okay, so I guess we could sell one of the treasure chests. Worth much, but we'll, we'll head out. Take care, ghost. Have a good one, ghost. <laughs> I'm like a cat rest rather than a cat now. I do that too. I have a real hard time after I stream. I usually, uh, if I don't have a cup of coffee, and even if I do, I frequently fall asleep because this is uh, very tiring. So, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. So, just a chicken. All right, time to get out of Dodge, folks. I don't know where we're going, but that's where we're going. Wherever it is, it's not here. Yes. Apparently somebody is anxious to take advantage of this here place. And people are are starting to swarm around reapers. You you tend to draw yeah, attention. Yep. But I do like selling there. Well, yeah, and my my reapers mark is up to forty five. I don't know what yours is up to. Forty six, I think. It's nice get getting that up there. There you go. You got an island off to your starboard there. I see it. Okay, don't want you piloting into the rock pile that's out here. Which I have hit how many times? <laughs> that's the only marker you got. Is that somewhere near that island, there's a huge, there's a, it's right under the surface. And uh, it's like a little channel a sloop can get through there, but I've yet to figure out how to get through there with a brick other than at a crawl. Think There's a storm out. to the north of us. Oh, you see. Yeah, uh, Di and I split our sails between uh the sea posts and reapers. We'll do, we'll do one, pretty much one stream, and then next time we'll do just plain old reapers, and then back to the sea post. Yep. It was kind of unique today that we did both a sea post and reapers. But we had fish to sell. Right. Because so, we did a, uh, a uh, fortress. Is that what that is? The golden squirrel nails? The sea squirrel paint job and capstan, I think, and then uh, and wheel, I think. And then I really like this wheel. It's easy for me to identify and so. Uh, Then I like to paint the paint. Damn it, Mag. We're busy here. Let's 
let's uh, swing to starboard and check out this island. And run off to Meg. Oh, now streamers are up again. Yes, Shit. and the galleon behind us suddenly has lights. And it appears that they may be a skelly. I'm wondering if the game wasn't rendering lights because of the Reaper fog. You know what? I was thinking the same thing. Just uh, our wanderer's refuge. Yeah, let's go around here. We usually find something decent. Not always. So good. I, you just gotta watch out for the rocks. Going to rob at the wheel speed. That's a good idea. Yeah, I think so. Because you know the boat has rob at the wheel. Yeah, that is a valid point. Yep, I'll have a cup uh, after the live stream. I restrict most of my caffeine to morning time. I do too, but like I said, I have a tendency to fall asleep right after the stream, so I just get really tired. It's what you know, I sit back and then relax, and then it, I over relax. I guess I don't know. <laughs> well, especially on Wednesday, it's I've got the uh, stream after this that right. keeps me kind of pumped up. And right. I usually fall asleep during Tim Pool. It's his voice. It's all his fault. T Tim will put me to sleep. Yeah. But then again, Otto will put me to sleep, too. Yeah, that's He's point. got that soothing voice. Yes, he does. If he ever does the uh, weekly top 40, I'm done for. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a good question, Rob, about if the Reaper's fog makes it so you can't see the lights on the skellies. Unless they're like right on top of you, maybe. Watch your shallows. Not seeing a thing. Wow, so a bit Is there something the right off the end of that dock in the water? A chest? Nope. Yes? Yep. Yes, there is. I got it. I was so busy looking at that, I didn't look at the rock that I was driving towards. Ah. Uh, uh, seafarer's chest. That's better than nothing. You're not going to get your security deposit back on this boat. Hey. Okay, you're trying to take it up your channel or something here. What the hell? <laughs> you're definitely not getting your security deposit back on this boat. Uh. Well, that's because the nose was just up on the beach. I saw that. You gotta catch it before you take off here. <laughs> ah! This is a fine day. <laughs> so much for my deposit. Train on the beach over there, too. Head ahead. Yo, know, that was terrible. That's even worse. Oh. I guess I have to go get it the old fashioned way. Uh, 
the storage crate. There's usually something in the inside here, so I thought I'd take a quick run down here and see if there is a treasure chest sitting over here. Uh, nope. No, Mr. Snake is home though. <laughs> Treasure chest. Not a treasure chest, a uh, captain's chest. <laughs> oh, come on! Why am I having so much trouble picking crap up lately? Because uh, the game go. doesn't like it when you pick things up? I guess. Just look at this water. Yeah, really appreciate everybody being here today. So We really do. And the fact that we do a simul stream, so it makes it fun because we get lots of people and different parties, you and know, the usual. People get to see it from two different perspectives. Yep, which is kind of cool, because I, a lot of times, well, my res is down again today, but <coughs> that's okay. No, that's it. It's kind of cool watching, uh, you know, I can keep an eye on my crew this way is what it boils down to. Yeah, I get to see it from your perspective, too, so it's... Yep. When, when you're telling me where something is and I'm not certain, I can just look down at my tablet and say, oh, okay, now I see where she's looking. Instead of saying, yeah, it's over here. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the end of whatever was there. We're... Supply crate. So, and we got lots of supplies. Yeah, take us west towards the setting sun. Ah, sounds good. Not too fast. Uh, I think I saw an island out there. Okay, now, yeah, you don't want to go at breakneck speeds. 89 cannonballs in that one. So we can actually consolidate another. Uh, should be a good one to consolidate into that one. Oh, I see where we are. We got tons you of room. Do, do you? Yeah. We are uh, south of Golden Sands. So this off the starboard bow is Lagoon of Whispers. We can swing past it, see if there's anything on the shore. Absolutely. Yes, and we're going to have uh, supposedly tomorrow, well, tomorrow is satisfactory, and we're going to have dawn and possibly, possibly Ray can win us tomorrow. Oh, I hope Rick can make it. I hope so too. So uh, I may be in and out. Yes. Uh, as I told you, I have some paperwork that needs to get done. It's. Uh, yep. I I'm understand. I am probably going to be in that condition for the next several weeks. I just want to let you know when my family only accounted for my own personal streaming when they set up appointments. Right. They're taking a nap, buddy. What do we got going here? Uh, got something out here on the beach. There's a rowboat, it looks like. No, that's just um, flotsam. Whatever you call it. Oh, I see a chest of some sort. We're way too far out. 
Yeah, there's something on the beach. Yeah. Give us a little bit of sail and get us closer. Yep, and a rowboat. And I think I'm going to take a swim over. It looks like it's plants, maybe. Which is really annoying. <laughs> nope, it is a crate of rare tea, Si. No, I will happily... And we have an ammo crate, too. Now you will drop those down here. For you to... pick up. So, oh, oh, we got spooks on the island. Lots of snakes. I'm gonna see if there's anything else here. Uh, at least some of those like, spooks have blunderbusses, so don't get too yes, close. Yes, they to do. Them. Anything in this rowboat worth grabbing? Holy shit! Yeah, Jesus. 27 cannonballs and 45 or 25 wood. They are doing a number on me here, folks. Ooh, I'm in a bad way. Got him. Nice. Doing some fishing. <laughs> Got a storage crate in your hands? I do. I was going to drop it to you as soon as you got close. an easy pickup, although I did take a fair amount of damage. Yeah, uh, but... Which is okay. It's not like we don't have a barrel full of food. That's, this is true. Ooh, I even had a snake donut on me. We have eight pineapple. Man, you should be able to sell those. God. They, they really have not balanced the value of food in this game. They've, they've made fish super valuable. Some fish. And some fish, yes. Then they gave us some super worthwhile to have fruits. Yep. Uh-oh. Is that sails oh. on the uh, side of Golden Sands? No, that's just a funky artifact. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's head, uh, we're heading north, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna go past Golden Sands and head up to Sanctuary. Yeah, it sounds like a plan, sir. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, it'd be time to quit by the time we get there. That's got what I was thinking. To, got a few things to sell off. I think I'll take our storage crates and build them all up with, uh... Goodies here? I'm gonna store, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it all. And then we leave these on the dock. I should be hitting the uh, Discord around the same time, ladies. Between then and, and 745 at least.
I certainly hope that whoever do tries to do this upcoming quest in uh, Golden Sand succeeds. I like Golden Sands as far as ports on the west side. Yep. As a matter of fact, if they were going to get rid of a port on the west side and it was potentially going to be permanent, I much would have rather them done it to Sanctuary. You know what I mean? Say well, it again. If, if they were getting rid of a port on the west side of the map, and it had the potential to become a permanent removal, yeah. I much rather would have it been Sanctuary, not Golden Sands. Really? Actually, I like gold, er, Sanctuary over Golden Sands. I liked Golden Sands better. Just, I mean, it's just personal preference. Yeah. Well, the problem I have with it is that it's it's all a bunch of broken up islands. You know, it's like the taverns. So on sanctuary. The island. Uh, taverns on the main island. There's only one main island. There's there are some outcropping where you need. If you're doing a barrel run, it's con you know you do, but. Okay, BB, thank you for being here and being supportive and... I like Golden Sands. Oh, yes, thank you, Barbarian. I, I hope you have a good night. If you do get a chance to stop by, love seeing you. If not, get a good night's sleep. But, uh, yeah, I like Golden Sands for one location. Centrally located on the west side of the map. Uh, for that, I agree with you. So, uh, if that's if they, I see, I see what you're saying. I mean, for my personal preference as an island is Golden Sand or Sanctuary. But if you had to lose one, I'd have to say, yeah, get rid of uh, Sanctuary and keep Golden Sands. I'd really like to see them have islands that were dedicated to the different guilds, you know, so, uh, I don't know. It's I think that would make to... sense, too. If you wanted to fly the uh, Merchant Guild, you should have to go to a location where the Merchant Guild was prevalent. Right. It, yeah, you know, and it's there where, now you get every island you go to, all the merchants are there, which makes, it doesn't make a lot of sense, since they're... I know why they did it this way, though, so that you weren't isolated and you couldn't be stopped from doing certain quests. Right. I mean, and think about it. What if somebody w wanted to stop other people from becoming pirate lords? They could intentionally, if they were good at PvP, they could intentionally park themselves off certain islands and no one would ever be able to do turn-ins for certain factions. Yeah, but you just go to a different server, uh, which is what you do now, basically, I mean... And hope somebody wasn't doing the same thing there? Yeah. Exactly. So a couple of these storage crates literally are so full I couldn't really get any more into them. So... Rich man's you know, problems. Yeah, really, so... I like the idea that Oh, I can't sell it Sanctuary. I can run to Plunder. Oh, I can't sell it Ancient Spire. I can run to Galleon's Grave. Right. No, no, no. I'm telling you. Uh, okay. I think I, they should still have the have them on each island, but I think there should also have islands that if you're running a, a, a specific quest line, that may, you can go to the guild, and you if you sell there, you get extra money because you're bringing it directly to well the yeah guild. maybe a guild headquarters for yep. each faction yeah yeah that maybe you don't even need to be running their guild flag to get a bonus at that island S sell merchant guild stuff at the merchant island and you get 
five percent more. If you're running the right. guild flag, you get ten percent more. Yeah, something like that. You got it. I just think it would be um, cool that you know, and it, it would, and you could put, you know, you put the five factions or, or whatever it is, you know, at the, in the corners or something. So you le le really have to cover some serious map. To, uh, of course, I have to say we really do cover a lot of map anyway when we sail. Uh, we're pretty much all over the place. So. Most games we cover almost the whole map. Yeah. Except for the roar. So, which I, you know, that's fine by me. I don't care that we don't go to the roar. It's a very small section of the map, and it's just a fr frickin' pain in the ass, to be honest. More trouble than it's worth. Just saying. So. Come on, how's my drift? A little further. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, exactly. It may be. Well, you know, after tomorrow, they're going to, you know, my understanding is that, uh, you know, the, the adventure thingy that they're doing tomorrow, or starting tomorrow, is. Uh, it should be interesting because it's going to be the um, the Reapers versus everybody else, or the Gold Hoarders, or someone. I forget what it is, but anyway. Yeah, they're they're definitely uh, going to have one heck of a fight going on. Yeah. So it's so in other words, if you want to be a Reaper and take on Golden Sands, then you're going to want to be in an alliance with the Reapers, where it's vice versa, basically. So, so it sounds kind of cool. I don't know how much fun it would actually be, but I mean, I'd probably, you know, go Reaper. So, it's, you know, if the pirates of, of uh, the Sea of Thieves want to take back Golden Sands, well, eh. What do I care? <laughs> so. What, why does that affect me? Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, am I going to get brownie points? Do I get, you know, do I become the Lord Master of Golden Sands or something? I mean, it doesn't, they didn't say, so. To me, it's kind of like, meh. I, I, I don't see any real reason for it. So, I don't know if you're going to get extra pay or something if your faction wins? How, how does that work? You know, and how does the faction win? I you know what I'm saying? So I think basically if one faction wins, Golden Sands either becomes a port again or not. Yeah, but is it it doesn't it isn't determined to the end of the two week long or something. It starts tomorrow and goes through June something. So I forget what it is, but... Yeah, it's 10 days. Is it 10 days? Okay. That, that's their shtick. They always do 10 days. Yeah. No. Which is fine. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. I'm just saying. It's just kind of weird. So, but anyway. I don't think we have anything left. If you need a blunder bomb, sir, you have to get it out of the storage crate. I have fire bombs. I am ready to torch the ship. Aha! Uh -huh. He is ready. We only oh, made... We, to this time. we only made 60 grand today. That's okay. But we're in a sloop. We only expect 50 in a sloop. Yep. So I'm actually not too upset with just 60. Yeah. 75 in a brig and 100 in a galleon, so. Okay, Julie, you take care. Oh, thank you. You got ahead of me here. I don't have my music ready. <coughs> there it goes. Ah, uh, the lollipop. Here's a fire ship today. I was the only one who managed to nearly sink it. So. <laughs>
You're doing good when your crew is the only ones who can truly sink your boat. Karen tried really hard, too. She did take both of us off the boat and then attack the boat. Yes, this is quite true. Well, I was very concerned about that, but I think I'm recovering on that guy yet. So it's uh, well done. Now, okay, Cass, will you take care? I would like to thank everybody who came out and enjoyed the tri trip with us for the up to four hours that you were with us. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. Hopefully, Rob is streaming among us in about an hour.